to the ground now and somehow i feel like you don't know me shook me to the ground now i don't even know how brought me to a life that you never showed me Alright, alright, alright. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say hello, friends. How's it going? Welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you on this lovely Monday morning round here. Probably end of the weekend for you all. Hope your weekend has gone well. Hope you're feeling rested, relaxed, ready for another week ahead. Hopefully it's all good. I'm over here feeling pretty darn good indeed, and I hope that uh, that passes through the magic of the internet from me to you, wherever you might be. Hello to you today, Marks. It's good to see you, Odd Blue. Jim, a pleasure. Hi, CS Prof. Hello to you, Dirk. Dirk Iron Fist with a resubscription for five months. Love your content resorty. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Very cool to uh, have you with us, Dor uh, Dirk. I said dork, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Dirk, and <laughs> I'm very grateful for your ongoing subscription, which you'll probably cancel after that moment. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Hello, dude, Chibi. Hello, Cortraption. How's it going today? Uh, Yalris and Volo, what is up? HPG, hit people guy, it's good to see you. I saw your disastrous sad story over on Discord that your main hard drive has broken. Your main hard drive has stopped working. I'm glad you can still be with us, ch chatting and so on. Uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah, it's good to see you, HPG. I I'm surprised and, and glad you're able to get it figured out, though. Hello, Slivers! How you doing? Uh, Jim says, for the first time in 110 years, a rookie in the highest division won the sumo tournament. Wow. Uh, I didn't follow sumo nearly as much as I thought I would when I came to Japan, but... Uh, yeah, that's amazing. I know so much of, of sumo is based on on seniority and years and years of like working your way up the ranks and proving you can take on on some people and it's just good enough to get a winning record as opposed to winning it all. Uh, but a rookie uh, wrestler won the whole thing. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you for telling us that, Jim. I, I should probably at least go watch some of those matches so I can talk about it with my students. That said, my students actually don't care that much about sumo. <laughs> I've tried to start the conversation a few times, uh, including with the self-professed MMA guys. We have a collection of students who are here, it seems entirely so they can have a visa to uh, be uh, involved in Japanese mixed martial arts circuits. Like school is the secondary concern, beating people up the primary, but they do not care about sumo. Uh, and I, I just don't know why that is, but eventually I'll find some student to it for sure. Hello, Cajun Killer. How was my weekend after Wrexham w Wrexham's win? It's true. Uh, Saturday night, stayed up good and late, and Wrexham won 3-1. to one. And, uh, man, one of the goals. I I'm not going to violate copyright law today, but the second goal in the Wrexham match was a really nice, like, team counterattack with a lot of passing back and forth and very speedy move down the field and one of those fun plays where everyone stops playing a position and just runs down the field as fast as they possibly can to be in position to receive uh passes it's just a lot of fun to see that kind of energy happen so a big win very happy Rexham is still on pace to be promoted into the next league up into league one so that should be good uh, copyright rules? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know for sure. I, I want to show you this goal, and they did post it on their Twitter account. So I don't know if once they post on Twitter, if that's the team saying, please, show this on your stream. My sense is not, though. So as much as I want to show you this goal so I can talk about it and point at things and say, ah, the excitement, it's probably better not to do so. But uh, just in your head, imagine a bunch of red-clad men, uh, red clad men running down a field very excitedly and a ball goes between them and then a score. Hooray! That's all it really is, as always. <laughs> uh, time to MS paint it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a, a, a goal that requires at least five people to be drawn. And that's too many. That's far too many. 
The most amazing part, though, is Paul Mullen, the striker, Super Paul Mullen, uh, was on defense, was on defense, like all the way back into the box, uh, managed to pass the ball to himself with a back heel kick. So kicked away from himself, turned around, got the ball, proceeded to dribble around two people, and then pass it across. Ugh, I absolutely, anyway, that's enough, that's enough. The other obvious big news, I finally got my hair cut. Hooray! After three months, I got a haircut, and I feel so much better for that. It was absolutely uh, well beyond appropriate time. I believe it's the case that my barber, uh, Mr. Shida, is not terribly happy with me. He seemed a little bit dismayed uh, that, uh, he seemed a little bit dismayed that my hair was quite as long as it was, <laughs> so... I, I need to get there a little more often, uh, but it was it was a nice experience to get back there. Uh, we're at the point now, uh, Shida san and I, where um, we only speak in Japanese. So when we first started, we did this like strange hybrid of English and Japanese, leaning heavily towards English. I just couldn't do any Japanese at that point. Now I do enough that we can have the whole conversation in Japanese because topics I know about very well, namely my hair and paying money, and there's no, like, idle chit-chat here, certainly. Uh, unlike American barbershops, I have to say, this is one thing I'll miss if ever we leave here. Uh, American barbershops, there's an expectation of chit-chat with strangers, and I struggle with that so much. <laughs> anyway, so Ishida-san uh, and I were back and forth on the, uh, the chit-chat about the hair and about the paying and so on in Japanese, but he offered one English comment. So after he'd finished the haircut, he got out his big old folding mirror. He has a folding mirror that he puts over one's shoulders. So you can see how large your bald spot's getting. It grows every time. Uh, and then you offer the compliments or ask for changes and so on. So usually, Ashida-san just, just shows it. And then I say my, that's very nice, thank you very much, that kind of thing. This time, though, he showed it and said, very better. <laughs> Ashita san's commentary, very better. And I said, hi, very better. <laughs> so <laughs> I I think that's the kind of teasing I get if I uh if I uh, do not uh go get my hair cut often enough. So don't you worry. We'll not get that out of control that out of control again. Uh one time it was six months. The longest I've ever been on a haircut in my in, uh, adult life is six months of no haircut. Can't do that again. I ended up becoming a little bit rowdy in the hair then. Uh, wife Hughes knows that uh, chatting with strangers is not common in Japan. Yep, exactly right. Exactly right. Um, it's it's just different than the Midwest. Uh, in the Midwest, I'm used to saying hello to anybody I pass uh, on the street. Uh, here we have the standard big city thing of you don't do that, um, except for those who are your immediate neighbors. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, there's not a lot of chit chat, especially with people who are in uh, service roles. This is something as a good democratic, all men are equal American. Uh, I struggle with, of course, because I want to have chit chat with my my server and say, "Oh, I hope you're having a good day. Hope your shift's going well. Thanks so much for being great." Here, that's a violation of social norms. Instead, you have to just follow the the codified. Here's the words you say when you say them, and anything that diverts off that script makes everyone feel very uncomfortable. So, I stay on script. We get our things done, and that's good enough. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you a good weekend. Uh, very nice to relax a little bit. Uh, Nam's decided not to do too much work uh, yesterday, which was very nice. And said, instead, she spent the day playing Tetris, which uh, made her happy, and so it made me happy, absolutely. Um, you'll recall that on Saturday, she woke up to 72 unread emails in her work account and said, well, I've got to go do all of these now. And she did. So she worked very hard on Saturday and then largely took Sunday off, which was... For the best, for the good, thank goodness. Hello, El Sadil. Uh, Kaden Kelly, you've had two haircuts in the last three years. Yeah, uh, I definitely works for some people. Like, some people look great with long hair or prefer longer hair. It just does not work for me. Uh, and I don't exactly know why that is. Um, I, I think I've tried slightly longer hair a couple times. I just don't like how I feel in it. So, yeah, the same way I've tried a beard at various points, just eh, not for me. So I've settled into the same hairstyle I've had since I was 13 years old or so, and that's just fine. <laughs> that's just fine. Uh, with that said, yesterday there was a brief moment when my haircut was being done, and my hair was you know, still you know, splayed down like that. And I glanced up and I said to myself, oh, is he giving me bangs? I don't want bangs. <laughs> 
<laughs> so <laughs> luckily no, I just had to be uh, put back in normal position, all good. That said, the hair is disappearing. It's going away in real hurry there. Hello Lancelot, are we playing backpack today? Well, probably not, probably not. I do enjoy backpack battles very much, uh, but today I've been approached by a, a developer to, uh, yeah, a developer to give me uh, a sponsored stream. They've asked me to play their game in exchange for financial remuneration. So I'll be doing that, and uh, I promised them four hours. So if we stop talking very soon, we could maybe play Backpack Battles, but I probably, probably not. Uh, maybe tomorrow, though I think we're probably past Backpacks for a while, though I did play it offline, and three out of my four characters are now Platinum. Very good. We'll continue climbing ever higher for sure. Uh, Tetris is turning 50 years old soon. Really? I mean, Tetris has been around as long as I've been around, for sure. Uh, it's a kind of game that's been in my life uh, from the first moment I knew what a video game was, and so I'm not surprised to hear that it's 50s or even older. Um, I remember playing so many games that on the old Game Boy back in the day, sitting in the backseat of my parents' car while we drove from place to place, and I just have that endless Russian-esque do 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 After a while, it's it's repeated noises becoming like an absolute balm for the soul, right? The knowledge that the next note would come, the next bar would fall, and I'd somehow make the world more organized. I loved Tetris growing up, and um, my wife plays a lot more of it than I do now, but it's a game where anytime I play it, until it gets too fast, I find it very, very soothing. It's very good. Uh, hey, Klaus, you finally got a haircut this weekend, too. Whoa, all around the world. Resorty friends becoming haircutted. Well done, well done. Uh, decided to also get some beard oil in your beard. Huh. So I know nothing about beard care. Uh, I know for a while, maybe the past 10 years, there's been a big move to like do higher-end beard care with like various brushes and, and oils and I don't know what else. Um, I remember seeing a number of brands selling like the designer kit for your beard. I've done none of it, but I'm glad to hear beard oil works well, and uh, I look forward to hearing your adventures in treating yourself that way. Because I myself, I myself do not know about how beard things work. When I grow a beard, I just stop shaving, and it gets like neck beardy and kind of terrible, and <laughs> it's it's not in any major kempt, and I it's just like Ugh, I'm a monster now. <laughs> so that's how it goes. What does Socrates do for his beard? I don't know. I feel like it's set up to a joke, Gary. What did Socrates do for his beard? Uh, apparently the reasons why the Greeks uh, wore beards when they were philosophers was to show they're not soldiers. Because if you're a soldier and have a beard, you get grabbed in battle. So bearded people were not soldiers, definitionally. It's how it goes. Mustache wax is good if you want to avoid dipping your food and drink. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed seeing people with mustache wax, like a little curly cue, like snidely whiplash. Or uh, some other awful, awful uh, Natasha and Bullwinkle, Boris, whatever it is, uh, villain. But I've never had a mustache that I've cared for. It's always just like the uh, the, the brief uh, moment of, of I finished cutting the beard off. I could have a mustache, but never actually do it. So never do it. Tell the Vikings that you get your beard grabbed. I don't know how the Vikings thought about that. Uh, actually, I, I don't know at all. What, was there a concern about having one's beard grabbed uh, in Viking culture? Um, or, or was just a sense like if someone gets into melee with you, you are able to uh, dispatch of them before they can grab you? Uh, I wonder if the kind of battling that was common with the Greeks versus the, the Norse folk was different enough that beards would be more of a, an obstacle in one than the other. Uh, I know that Greek battlers used spears a lot. Um, but past that, I, I'm not a military historian, I know nothing, I just know the one bit, the one bit about uh, Greek philosophers wore beards to show they're not soldiers. Yeah, I, I know about uh, hair being an important element in Norse culture, um, it, it's more just were they not concerned, like, or was it a, um, I will wear long hair despite the fact it could be used against me. Uh, to make this even harder, I'm gonna play on 500% difficulty by having a giant beard my opponents can grab. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I should, maybe I should re-specialize here in late life. Re-specialize into learning all about Viking body parts. Surely that would, uh, that would increase my appeal as a human being. Snoot, what's up? It's good seeing you. Hello, hello. Many fancy beards are like peacock tails. Look how dangly I am. I see, I see. I mean, whatever works, whatever works. Um, 
I know that many militaries around the world uh, in the more recent era have refused facial hair or have only had very like carefully groomed facial hair. I think that's more to do with like hygiene standards and uh, uniformity of appearance as opposed to actual melee combat concerns. Um, I don't know though. I guess I'm curious which cultures had the the loosest beard rules recently because I believe I saw a a picture from the past five years of some person from one of the Scandinavian militaries who had a large beard and uh, looked absolutely fantastic, wearing a contemporary military outfit, and then also this Viking-esque beard. It was pretty cool. Uh, and then I also know, um, I also know that various uh, religious exemptions have been offered more and more for facial hair. Uh, I believe Sikh people, uh, you know, a lot of the turbans now, I think they're also allowed to wear beards. I don't know all the ins and outs, but I love it. I love the ways in which like traditional organizations find ways to to adapt and be more inclusive as time goes by. It's pretty cool. Uh, beard's not a detriment in war. You can tuck inside your armor or clothes. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, kind of mask can't seal the beard. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have like a gas mask or something. All right, I don't know how this is done. Again, I know nothing about the military. Probably many of you have much more experience than I do. Uh, I just find it interesting how grooming standards and um, and different professions fit together. So that's how it goes. Exactly out blue, right? Sikhs don't cut their face for, or cut their hair for religious reasons. So does that mean they can't join the military if there's no beard rule? Historically, that was the case. Um, and so various countries that are being more inclusive are instead attempting to, uh, to modify those rules. Now, how that works with protective masks, I have no idea. Uh, what I know though is they've made some allowances that were not there previously. Uh, in the same way that some jobs that don't allow people to carry weapons uh, will allow uh, Sikh people to carry their their small dagger that starts with a K. I've forgotten its name right now, but their dagger that they carry at all times to remind them of their duty to uh, fight against injustice. Uh, so there's, there's like ways of being more inclusive in the world. Uh, I find absolutely lovely, absolutely good. So all good, all good, all good. My coffee's only half full. I forgot to fill it before stream started. So we have to run upstairs very quickly and get some coffee after a while. But for now, uh, it's been good hanging out with you this morning. It's very, very good. Dwarf Draw Mighty Warriors, it's true. How do we discuss military and beards and not take seriously the most bearded people of all, the dwarves? So I don't know much about like Warhammer, obviously, we discussed previously, or various other fantasy properties. Um, is it... Or are there any stories about a a dwarf having their beard cut off as like a sign of dishonor, uh, whether it's done by other dwarf people as a punishment or as like a kind of, of torture? Is this done? Uh, I'm guessing if this is something that's done culturally, there are stories about it. But um, I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to think now. The Slayer characters in Warhammer, when we played as dwarves, they had these special characters called Slayers. They apparently had like defied the rule of the king and had dishonored themselves, they had to go to battle uh, to die. Like their, their aim was not to survive and fight again, but go and die to prove their worth. Did they have beards on still? Or had their beards been shaven? I honestly can't remember the little photos, but um, the orcs against the dwarves, you take their beards. Oh, so it's like uh, traditional scalping practices. Instead, you take their beards as a sign of defeating them. Like a demasculation. Okay, okay. That's the kind of thing I should probably uh, learn more about. Man, I gotta say, the past few days I've been thinking, hmm, what game should we play next? What game should we play next? And uh, uh, Warhammer is kind of top, kind of getting top of the line again. It calls out to me constantly. Resorty, don't you want to come play with dwarves? You know what dwarves use to carry their things around? They use backpacks. We have to play backpacks. <laughs> Love it. In Warhammer is actually a war called the War of the Beard. That's amazing. Uh, is this one of those grudge wars? Is this a grudge war where people, um, like, uh, some dwarf lost his beard, and so now the dwarves are so angry they're fighting a war over beard? Because, yeah, exactly, but Carl, there's a war of, of Jenkins' ear. Now, is that actually a literal ear, or is that, like, some part of uh, geography called an ear? In the same way there could be a forest called a neck, for instance. Windy for Sun's good seeing you. Hello, John Yu. How's it going? The highest tier of competition in backpack battles is called Grandma. 
Uh, I'm into platinum on three. How many more levels are there between platinum and grandma level? Why is it called grandma level? Do grandmas carry backpacks? Like here, grandmas tend to use little like push carts that have a, a, a wireframe uh, basket on the front of them. I don't know. I don't know. The War of the Beard is the reason that dwarves hate elves. Really? Okay. See, I have this tolkien sense that, like, dwarves and elves get along, but grudgingly. I tend to lean more that direction than in the direction of Dwarf Fortress is absurd. Uh, you cut down any trees at all, we come and kill you. So I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, hard to say. An elf took a dwarf's beard. The dwarves went to a war they called the War of Vengeance right that wrong. So one elf removed one dwarf's beard, and this led to a world-ending cataclysmic battle from the ages. Crazy. Crazy. I remember when I was a kid, uh, I thought that World War I was really fought about just the assassination of one person, the Archduke. And of course, it's much more complicated than that, but this feels very similar. Just one beard, one misde uh, misdeed, we're going to war. <laughs> I love it. Uh, thank you all for teaching me all these things. I appreciate it. Uh, and I saw someone mention that the next DLC for uh, Total War is a new Dwarf DLC. Maybe we'll go back then. Anyone know when the new Total War uh, DLC is coming out? This is me planning my future. Because I think we have a second sponsored stream later this week. It's going to be a gonna be a busy, busy week on the sponsorship side, which I do appreciate. Um, yeah, two games I'm pretty excited for. I think we're playing New Cycle, New Cycle rather, a game we played when it first came out, uh, but they have a big update and they're 20% off over on Steam right now. And so they reached out and said, hey, Resorty, you want to play it? And I said, sure, I could definitely do that. Uh, will Total War give you the new Dwarf DLC for free? Else still, I should look into that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I, do, I do have a way to get free DLCs, but I promise to play them. I just need to do that. Late April, early May. Okay, that's a ways away. I was hoping the new Total War DLC would come out, I don't know, a week or two? That's about when I want to play it again, but we'll see how it goes. Also, holy cow, I feel like this morning I've been talking about four or five different topics simultaneously. Thank you for hanging on during that. My little brain feels pulled in every direction. Uh, one of the, the more important parts of my pedagogy is I need to always build my arguments step by step so students can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And so if I get off topic during class, I always rebuild what I've been doing so we all know where we are. This conversation with dwarves, beards, backpacks, I guess it's all just one topic. It's just the being of the uh, of the uh, dwarf. Pulls in a lot of directions though. This is the trouble with talking from uh, one to many and one to respond to everyone all at once. It's just too much in all directions. But thank you for hanging out today. It's been a lot of fun. Our ad break is coming in just a minute or two here. We could uh, definitely, uh, definitely play some backpack battles during the break. Maybe, maybe. Um, actually, with that said, we don't have any old crosswords left, do we? Let me check on that real quick. Um, uh, we do have two old Mondays. Maybe today is the day of cleaning up the old Monday pile. And uh, that way we can start fresh with a new week here. It'll be good. Yeah, on Friday or Saturday stream, we uh, definitely did backpack battles during the ad breaks, and that was that was fun. It was weird, but it was fun. So I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of crossword during the first ad break. When the first ad break is over, uh, we're going to uh, play a little game called New Cycle. Maybe Tetris on ad breaks. I don't have a controller, and I can't imagine playing Tetris with keyboard and mouse. Actually. As long as you use like Q and E for rotation, maybe I could imagine it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, how will I uh, do enough crosswords for April 1st? Um, I'm intending to actually buy a crosswords game. There are a number of games that are 100% crosswords, and we'll be doing nothing but that on April 1st for sure. This is your first full crossword? See, unfortunately, it's not. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a full crossword experience because um, both of these have already been started. They're both already started, so we'll just see what we get figured out. This one's almost done. Now, if we finish up both of these Mondays pretty quickly, uh, then we can go and do some other crossword, probably from Universal or Washington Post. Okay, so we added in Ebenezer as the first name of the man who invented Christmas, um, which I, I do not know what the man who invented Christmas is, but let's see if we can work off of that. 
Net gain. Net gain. I have no idea. Uh, soul protector. So one something, because soul means individual. So one something maybe. Field of motion. Okay, we're definitely not sure on wires here. Um, commotion as stir, I feel very good about, because there's a number of standard crossword ways of saying commotion, stir, fracas, melee, ado. Like, all those mean basically the same thing, and they're used more or less uh, interchangeably. But there may be another one I don't know right now. K kinetic range? No, that's, I don't know. Uh, play back. Play back. So, I kept thinking before, like, play back, and I think of, like, rewind. Playing something back over again. It's so, like, re... Re-evaluate. Re I like also. Uh, the leader of a 1733 slave insurrection on St. John... I really don't know. Net gain. I may have to ask all for help on a moment on this one. We've done so much time on this just corner. It's been absolutely terrible. Revival. 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 You play a play a second time. You restage the play. It's a revival. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um, overalls. Overalls are kind of clothes you wear over everything. It's just one thing you wear on top of all of it. Good, good, good. Okay. Do rings on the road. Do rings on the road. Um, like, what's that called? Spin out, is that? So the word slice fits here very easily, but... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's reb here? Net game. Rebate, possibly? That doesn't fit that way. Net gain. Um, so as usual, with net, I'm thinking of fishing nets. I'm thinking of tennis nets. I'm thinking of, like, various sports. Rebound. Sports. Re it's all really wrong. Okay, good, good. Finally progress. Finally progress. Okay. Things that shouldn't be held on the subway. I said doors early. It seems plausible again. Okay. Credit. Credit. No idea. <laughs> Soul protector. So, I like overall so much, but then it's DL here, that's terrible. Near in a way. Foreseeable. Foreseeable. I was Raiita here. A cooling condiment. I have no idea what this is. R-A-I-T-A, Raiita? Maybe. Okay, so kin. I know kinesis, kinetic. It could be just the word kin, like part of family, maybe. Though I'm not sure how that would fit into field of motion. Hmm. Hmm. Commotion with a U there. Commotion. Not at all cool. I said unhip earlier. Let's add that back in and see if that's possible. Credit. Credit. Props. Props. Props are credit. Rings on the road. Rings on the... Do rings on the road. <laughs> I just don't know. Is something wrong about right to hear? Thor, if you don't want to say something's wrong, what's wrong about it? What's wrong, Rita? Just tell me. Just tell me what's wrong. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you ask me to say something about it, it's like saying something about it. So, it's Indian instead? Oh, are you saying it's an Indian dish? Oh, that's fine then. Yeah, so once I get something right, and like, what is that? What is that? You always say, welcome, tell me what it is. If I, if I say I don't know what it is, feel free. <sighs> Good then. Good. We made progress. We have 10 seconds left. Um, over shirt. <laughs> over shoe. Is over shoe a thing? 
Like a galosh, possibly? A galosh, possibly. The doors come back in again. Do rings on the road. No idea. Some Carlos Cruz Diaz works, some kind of art. No idea. Commotion. A rush, possibly? Hmm. Next ad break, we're going to get this. Actual progress, first time in a long time. Friends, welcome to today's video game. We're playing a little game called New Cycle. It's a game we played when it first came out. We're going to do a little bit more today. It's going to be good, good, good. And uh, hope you enjoy hanging out for it. So this is an app. I'll say that directly. You can see it on the screen anyway. Uh, they're paying me money to play the game, but they're not paying me money to say nice things about it. So if I say nice things about it, I absolutely mean the words I am saying. Um, this one does not have a don't say mean thing, so it's good two, two, two. Uh, we'll be doing a brand new game, uh, so I can remember how to play it, because it has been a month or two. So, uh, early access still, they're doing major and minor updates. A big update just happened, uh, I think, last week sometime. Like I said, it's on sale right now, so if you like it, it's good to go. Um, as I've played this one previously, I've thought of it as a combination of Banished as well as Frostpunk. Those two together, Banished and Frostpunk. So, let's do a new game. And Sanity and Old Ways are still locked. One of these days, it's going to be two new scenarios so that you have a different experience of the game than just the campaign. So, play the campaign. Um... In the campaign, last time we played, there was one big story event in which a dreadnought came and demanded all of your things. And if you refused to give me your things, they bombarded you until you did so. Uh, and then after a while, we realized we had to build a bunker underneath the ground. And that's as far as we got. So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if we're going to have a, uh, other missions in the updates or not. We'll definitely see. Definitely see. You know this game is the one where we made the uh, newspapers? No, 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 that's, uh, that's News Tower. This is New Cycle, not News Cycle. All right, uh, we've played on the Great Meadow at least twice now. So let's go with the Meadow instead. Home to open stretches of land and fertile soil, this biome transitions relatively smoothly between seasons. Though not overly challenging in terms of food and water, Underground resources are somewhat scarce. Sure, let's try that one. We'll keep going through them eventually. This game is very brown. That's right. Number one fact about the game is it's brown, brown, brown. But it's also a lot of fun. And the brown matches the uh, the a atmosphere they're going for very well. Like it's a, a game that is brown of spirit as well, brown of, uh, of color palette. Here we are. First step, choose location. So, wait, have I played this map before? All right, I think I played that map before. <laughs> or maybe all of the maps have the uh, nice wide open um, watery area so that the ship can come and fire on you after a certain point. Um, I think I've played this before. Whichever way, I'll be fine. Uh, what's the time period? I, I don't know exactly. I think like Victorian industrial, mostly. Um, we'll see if there's any hints as we go about what time period it is. Anyway, must choose a first location with our main hall. And I don't remember anything about good decision making here. So I'll put my main hall right there. This is where we began. A message from the community. You are now the governor of this little community. It's been nearly half a century since the first solar flare. In the initial moments of the catastrophe, we lost our entire technological infrastructure, our means of global sourcing, and almost everything we share as a civilization. The following years were humanity's darkest, having to wrestle with constant impossibility and despair. From battles fought with sticks and stones to nuclear wars, we ended up destroying ourselves with what little sun we had left for us, and civilization fell. That's right. Um, so it's in the future. It's in the future after our time. 
but because everything's fallen apart, we get ourselves back up to roughly the Victor Victorian era as far as technology goes. Uh, but there have been nukes, there have been terrible tragedies. It's kind of like the Fallout world in some way, uh, though with less wacky, zany uh, electricity guns. Everyone was born into this world, and you have to be their leader. The current flimsy shelter can't carry us very far. We must rebuild everything from scratch with the efforts of those who remain so we can establish a sustainable way of life. We must recover lost knowledge and explore our surroundings to create new possibilities. Most importantly, beyond merely surviving, we have to find a way of securing the next generation, by whose time the world may not be habitable anymore. We don't know how we're to preserve life as we know it, but we can at least build something we can call home. I'm going to say I remember the game well enough to continue without the tutorial. That's right. Uh, Garvin, thank you. The year is 2073. 2073, day one. All right. I refuse the tutorial. That was surely the best of all choices. So, as of right now, we have 35 people of whom um, none are living in houses. Got to fix that for sure. Do, 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 do. So we need a road connecting everything in this game. For that, though, you need to have lumber. So we'll start by making our camp to get lumber and stone and so on. And a third thing, coal also. We don't need coal early, though. So let's put a little house there, a little building there. The little buddies get to work on making it. Go, buddies, go! And I think when I have a couple of these basic uh, collectors... And then also have a um, lumber mill to turn the basic wood into upgraded lumber eventually. Oh, uh, it's been too long since I played this. Like, I really remembered getting better at the game. It was a matter of, like, I was absolutely terrible for a while. And then gradually, 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 I came to understand what I was doing. And then I stopped playing. And at that point, it all fell apart. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if we can get it figured out, hopefully. Uh, the workers have arrived. They're putting this one on up. Hey, miss, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. I don't know what any of that means, but thank you for your generosity in saying it and the generous bits. Cream BD Chum worth the eddies. I'll say those words. Sure. This game looks similar to Frozenheim. I actually don't know that one, Raspberry. Uh, I usually say it's a combination of Banished and uh, Frostpunk. What is Frozenheim? That's a great name, whatever it is. The final bits of work. What is the increased game speed button in this one? Is it number numerical? It is numerical. Great. Uh, they need workers. They get three Lumberjacks. And... Oh, this is not stone. This is iron. Iron's a third thing, so it's wood, stone, iron. We have to research that first. But to find the stone somewhere. The game is similar to Survive in the Aftermath. aftermath. I like that game also. We enjoyed Survive in, the aftermath, Survive in the Aftermath quite a bit when we played that one. Yeah, it's one of the many, um, like, build a world that's, after it's fallen apart. It has a really cool storyline, though, uh, in this one. And that, that, I think, sets it apart. More storyline instead of just endless uh, building for the sake of building. All right, lumber mill is necessary. We're gonna throw it or here for now. I believe in this game, characters do not need to carry items back and forth. Instead, they immediately move. Now that may not be true. because <laughs> I see it says 20, 20, 24 or 24 here as soon as I put it down. But people are carrying things over, so. Maybe it's true in both respects. Maybe it uh, makes the items restricted immediately, so it leaves our storage pile here, but then they have to be carried as well. Can't quite recall on that one. Different games handle it differently. All right, more wood guys. Good. And no stone here either. Mm. Out this way, there's stone deposits we can use. Let's put on another one of these collecting buildings. Which are resources, field camp. There's a lot of stone here too. Can't build there. Off by one. 
probably very hard to organize well because any bad choices I make on organization early will stay with us for the remainder of the playthrough. So, because I always forget to move things after I've made them. There we go. Uh, lumber mill is soon ours. Um, the eddies that I just read in that strange bit message. Eddies are short for Euro dollars in the game Cyberpunk. I've never played Cyberpunk. I've heard good things about it. One of the games that people really do enjoy, but haven't quite gotten to it myself. All right. We have finally begun to make actual wood. So proper wood from the basic trees is then turned into houses and roads as well. So we'll combine these three across. We'll save the lumber. Gotta wait for that. Get to work, you. All right, there's a the first pile of wood showing up. Hooray! Three wood. More than enough to connect from here to here, I believe. Uh, some lumber connection. Good start, good start. We'll wait for more to come in. Um, I remember that last time I played, I had more than one of these lumber mills at some point. So, because it just takes basic wood and I have a good amount of that, I'm going to continue making more of these early lumber mills to ramp up our production, I hope. Um, as of right now, we have no food at all. I don't remember in the tutorial if you are told to make food before you start making wood and such. So, we'll start having food collection also. Uh, nearest to the base, there is a collection of meats and mushies out there over this way a bunch of mushrooms and some herbs and yeah, nothing super close by though so we'll go and grab the ones out this way first make sure it's nicely in line if possible uh so lines goes like this <laughs> good that's a meat at least and we have some more of the lumber now so we can continue on the road one challenge I had in this game last time I played was keeping an eye on everything all at once. Remember, oftentimes I'd be working on building one thing and forget to do something else I'd mentioned previously. So I think my mission for today is to try to only give myself one task at a time. Now, having said that, I know that I just put down a building here that I should attend to. Uh, there's our stone cutting. And here's the gathering camp. It's a basic food. It's getting built. With every swing of the hammer, it comes from the ground. I think the reason why I'm not so good at staying and watching is it takes a while. And I know there's other things I could be attending to. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Work faster, little buddies. Work faster. They're all my little buddies until they start causing problems. Then... Then they become the true enemies of the state. We have Frostpunk-esque solutions. Okay, we've yet to unlock actually hunting. So I was going to get the uh, the meat here. That does not work, unfortunately. So it has to be mushrooms or bust initially. Well, you'll sit there and wait for later. Someday soon we can collect the meat there. Should have done the tutorial, Resorty. You thought you were smart enough to not need it. Wrong again. Uh, so there are mushrooms there. This one's fairly close by, so if I move on from here to there, can't collect any. Uh, we've got that one instead. Good. Now, there's complaints out this way. This woodcutter would also like to make wood with some workers. It would also care for a road, if you please. Because you asked nicely, I'll give you one. Collect, connect these new ones as well with our stone collection coming in. Hey, Cyber, how's it going? Good seeing you today. Nope. Beautiful. It's all beautiful. Look, we have power. Right now, all of our power comes from this one windmill right here. Happy little buddy trying his best. Okay, so how about some water then? Water requires stone. We are gathering stone, but slowly. Water is life, chief. We need better access to it. I know. 
our people are now having unsanitary condition because of lack of water to drink and to wash themselves. Very soon, it was about 32 stone, I believe, to make our first water well. We need one more stone. And watch it come in right here. Round it goes. Hooray! Cap. So our first well goes somewhere. Please increase water distribution. I swear I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. I swear I'm trying. All right. So you, my friend, are our first water gatherer. And water gathering goes better if it has a road attached to it. We're on the threshold of an uprising. <laughs> we work long hours in the scorching weather without a proper water supply. At this rate, we'll die of exhaustion. We don't lose our minds first. Does that sound like a sensible way to live, Chief? If you think you can get away with abusing us like this, you're wrong. One second, I'll give you your water. I'll give you the water, don't worry. So people are rabble, rabble, rabble. We're gonna get punished for our, our insolence, for our thought, we can understand the world without the tutorial. Just build faster, just build faster, you can do it. Please don't die. Behold, I give you water production. So the wells work automatically. And if they're attached to a road, they work slightly faster because they become electrified. What's up, Jonah? Good seeing you. Okay, we have a road. It should be attached now. Is it not? Okay, it's attached now. We have positive water. Ah, <sighs> The workers will stop be being thirsty. Everything is great. We have no food, but at least we have some water. <laughs> Alright, this is the mushroom collector. Hooray! Uh, everything is now under control. The city is good. The city is life. Wonderful. Okay. Next up then is let's make some houses for our little friends. We've not researched how... Oh, we have. Uh, unresearched houses. So, am I to research yet? I can't remember when research starts. Uh, where is the research button? That's the menu button. R for research. T for research. Mmm... Click on main building for research. Not quite. All right, we decided to do a no research run through. It's over here, actually, isn't it? There we go. All right. Time to start researching. Living standards allows us to make some houses. That will be good, good, good. All you need to survive after a nuclear disaster is tomato soup, water, and a radio. I'm afraid you're right about that for sure. Ah, no radio. An immigrant group is here. They want to join us. How many are you? You're nine people. Well, that'd be nice. Please work hard and don't eat all my food. Thanks ever much. Uh, so we are researching shacks now. The shacks do consume power. Or, or magic or Lakers. Insert O'Neill jokes here. So we have 200 electricity, so we can build a bunch of shacks at some point. It's currently a storm, so various job sites work less well. But we get more power from our windmill. Spin, spin, always spin. Is there anything else I can build right now? I think until research is done, the answer is no. So we can just work on getting additional food and water and such. So where can we find additional water? A whole bunch out here. We'll set up for this by going right here. Lovely. And then going this way. Uh, doubling our water production just like that. Um, we don't have a lot of stone saved up because we only have the one stone collector here. We could add in another one after a while if we want to. But, yeah, just a matter of waiting to think, have things get done again. Having not started research immediately was a bit of an issue, but... Only... <gasps> I didn't actually start start it because you can't. You have to have this one done first. Oh no. <laughs> so all that time where I said I'm waiting for research to get done, no research was being done at all. 
Yes, here we can see the research bar is now climbing higher and higher and higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Almost done, though. Four hours to go. Will the uh, the base recover from this awful situation? It must, it must. All right, development completed. We can now make kitchens. And then with that one done, we can research houses next. All right, so kitchens are possible as is the starting stockpile, I believe. So kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. I'm trying to remember if there's any preference to place things anywhere, or if it just goes anywhere in the world is fine. Just uh, keep them together for ease of viewing. I think they can be fine wherever they go. So I'll throw two of them there for now. I'll probably have this whole area here be tons of kitchens eventually. Because if you're around for long enough, you'll see this space really scale up. You end up with beautiful streets and giant forges and all the rest. It's truly remarkably lovely. Uh, houses are nearly done now. Good. Where's the stockpile? There it is. It's the utility building the stockpile. Stockpile will allow you to hold more resources. So these things don't become overly full. The shack is finished. Okay, time for us to now have our very first house. At the kitchen here, you can choose up to four different kinds or from four different kinds of food. Uh, fish or meat or veggies or mushrooms. All the right now is mushrooms, so just mushrooms are fine. Thanks much. Uh, so we have um, all three of the initial cycle one foundations. Research are done. So we can go on to the second cycle. It's the new cycle. We're in the new Iron Age now. And I would like more food production. So we're going to go for hunting. But you can't do. You can't engage in hunting until you know about metalworking instead. Metalworking, I would like you. We require 860 research points. We currently have, uh, how many? 719. Oh, good call. I did not give my camp a name. Oh, no. Friends, I need your help in choosing a name for our lovely camp here. Uh, should we call it, call it nameless? Should we call it, uh... Unknownville? What's a good name for a camp like this one? Hmm. Brown. <laughs> uh, tents of taupe. Any suggestions for names? Call it Work It? W work It Camp? Reminds me of, of Work, or of It, like the Stephen King show. Brown Town? And it can't anonymity. I like that. I like camp an anonymity. A new place to start. Or we don't know your name, and you don't either, and that's just fine. Right now, we're anonymous out here. Hopefully, people leave us alone. That's all I really want. Okay, so we now have a second soup kitchen ready to go. So more mushroom to water. We have 14 people who are not currently working also. We've reached the new Iron Age. I'll have, have taverns and cemeteries and lots of other good stuff once you learn how iron works. For that, we need a little bit more research. And we're now at how many points? 719. We have 860. We'll check on that again in a moment. Cool. Time for houses. Time for houses, I think. So, will this lovely area back here be the place where people live? Wait, if I go to the water layer, the water layer can show where there is water, I believe. More watery over there, I believe. So, this direction looks like it's nice and open. Oh, the fertility also isn't there. All right, so fertility is showing it's pretty green out this way. Less green this way, I think. In the middle, where there's lots of stone, is the least fertile area. This game an objective or just city builder? It does have objectives, uh, Anris. Yeah, it does have objectives. Uh, there's a storyline that was going along. Um, their missions like collect X of whatever um, in order to advance the city. And yeah, as you watch for a while, you'll see how that works. Uh, I've enjoyed the storyline element of this game most of all. Um, there are lots of base builders, but this story here seems kind of unique and fun. Okay. Houses can really be anywhere. Uh, people don't walk at home. 
Um, this area here looks somewhat less fertile than others. So we'll have this be our starting area of homes. And each building holds how many folks? Hmm. But if we mouse over and read, we can see. 10 people. We have 44, so we need five. Boom, mathematics. Build on shift, I think you can build two. That's right. All right, opening row of people. They can all live together and have little homeowners association. Unfortunately, in building them, we use up all of our stone, so we have to wait for that to refill. We still have a lot of unemployed people, so let's get more of them to collecting stone, especially, in a moment. But first, a message from the working class. Our unstable living standards are about to consume us. We should strive to keep a close eye on people's morale. If we don't maintain balance, we can do nothing but watch the home disintegrate. Do something to improve morale in a few days. I can do that. Get morale to 40 points. All right. So morale is currently at two. Two points. <laughs> so that's not so good. We're going to regular food uh, and regular water. I'm not going to uh, skimpy on that anymore. We'll give it just a moment, see where it goes. A 40 is a lot, though, but the morale to go up that far. So we may need to... Well, no housing is the big issue. People want houses first and foremost. I swear we're working on it. Uh, after that, though, we'll give them vacations. We'll give them health care. We'll give uh, parental leave. There's a really good slash really sad uh, Ezra Klein podcast that came out a day or two ago. I think it was last week's podcast. Uh, about parental leave and, and how hard it is to raise kids and do one's career, etc., etc., And how... Um, some really interesting stats they presented in it about how parents are spending more time than ever with their kids. Um, and like the numbers were compared to the 1950s. And so obviously men are spending a ton more time with their kids. But the mothers are also uh, to the point that to uh, raise a kid on average takes so many more hours than ever before. Uh, partially because people tend not to trust their kids uh, to go out and do things without supervision. And so the parents have to come along to kid events uh, and that takes up a lot of parent time. And so parents report just feeling absolutely overworked, absolutely rushed. <sighs> that said, we have gotten the buildings. The little children that we look after are in better shape now. So full housing, full happiness. Uh, I'm going to give them, uh, where is the, the work time off? Or is that not available quite yet? Mm, right. More time. Wait, workforce? Huh. Huh. What's up, Avatar? Good seeing you. Hello, Sophia. How's it going? May I thought previously there was a way of scheduling more time on or time off, and that went to workforce. So I think workforce might be a new way of evaluating how hard you're working them. So at low workforce, they get time off, I believe. But we produce less stuff. All right, that gets us to 34. Got to get a little higher. So everyone gets double food. Everyone gets double water, and with that, we'll accomplish our uh, our quest. And you know what's going to happen right after the quest is done? Immediately afterwards, everyone's going back to standard food and water. There we go. Mission accomplished. All as it should be. God is in his heavens. Well done, Chief. Don't hesitate to do whatever you can to keep morale up. I will. Not that high. They got to back to this normal work and to regular meals for now. At least you have houses. That's a permanent improvement. Isn't that nice? Okay. Like I said, we're running kind of low on food again. So we'll have a collector for that. Where are the other mushrooms? Well, way out there. Sure. I think this area is one that I used for... Um... What was it for housing in the last playthrough? Because like many other games of this sort, there are bonuses for having certain beneficial buildings nearby, like medical clinics and uh, taverns and so on. And so they only affect such a large area. And so once it gets larger than that, you need to then build a new neighborhood possibly. All right, we're out of stone. So I think that's the other thing I want to get going. Um, I believe my current gathering huts have no stone availability, unfortunately. Let me make another one of those two. That said, the basic gathering huts do not take 
guild camps do not take stone to make. So where is slash are their other stone bits? Somewhere in the middle here. Sure. We'll follow this road along. Good. And this way too. Built that far for now and the rest of the stone comes again. We need stone to make stone. It's very confusing. Oh, we have enough research. Missed that part. So we can now research metal working techniques. Uh, since we started tempering metal, our lives have been tempered by it. We can create a more secure and reliable living environment by deepening our knowledge of the elements. It costs 47 stone to unlock that. All right, this is the part where I'm being punished now for not collecting stone early enough. Now we get to wait. I remember that part of this game, last time we played, was about learning the relatively uh, best thought out, sure, the best thought out early game building. There were a lot of things that, by making them in this order, things worked, and not in that order, they fell apart very quickly. So probably there's not like an ideal meta build, but there's some things to keep in mind at least that I definitely did not keep in mind <laughs> when I started this one. <laughs> but uh, maybe we're actually engaged in a uh, run to uh, see how fast one can lose. All right, bring me stone. So we have good stone coming in now. We can unlock is at 47 stone. The other unlocks require uh, metal, uh, iron ingots, I guess, which requires metal working techniques. And the other ones all do require either more research or more stone. So we're saving up for 47 stone. Keep an eye on this marker right here and see how high it goes. Hmm. Our food's getting suspiciously low. Now that said, it's all being turned into uh, simple meals. We have tons of those. So mushroom drawing out is not actually a huge issue. As long as there's still enough food to consume at the ends. I believe I made a new, I did, mushroom farm here. So three more workers there. At least we have a lot of food saved up. So as we get to the colder months, we can go to uh, double food rations if need be to keep people happy. Speaking of colder months, it is snowing now. We're in autumn, so in just a moment here, we're going to go into our first winter. I think production goes down in the winter, and some jobs can't work at all in the winter. The which they are, I do not exactly recall. I think fishing is part of it, and farming. But I don't have either of those going quite yet. Okay, uh, surely more people will join us soon, so preemptively I'd like to throw up some additional houses, if possible, and... We have the stone we need for our research also. Let's now research metal working techniques. Take that shiny stuff and make it even shinier. Build some houses though, just to be ready for the next influx of people. Last one was nine people. As always, I want to be good guy resorty and bring in anyone who asks to join us. Putting tremendous strain on our community, but that's okay. We'll all go down together. That's my claim. <laughs> uh, water's again going down to down. Um, is there no water production in the winter? No, it's still producing water. We're just turning it all into soup, probably. So, how it goes. Hey, hard drive. I played the brown game twice. I've still played no banished. You are correct. I've still not played any banished. Shame on me. Shame on me. Shame on me. But why would I play Banished? I've met all of the children and grandchildren of Banished. Old man Banished just sits in his chair and grumbles at me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. How's our morale looking team? 41. They're displeased of their current workforce. They're displeased that they have to work. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, there's normal workforce uh, or regular workforce. So regular, we produce fewer things, but people are a little happier. Sure, I bring you more and more joy. Now, I'm actually not sure what happens at higher levels of morale. Hmm. Hmm. You have to understand the origin of all things. But I've been told if I if I forget history... 
I'll then be able to repeat it, right? I, I do want to repeat history. I want to play all the Banished games. Without just saying immediately, oh, this is just Banished. Uh, here's what cannot happen in the winter. No more wild mushrooms, no farming, health has gone down on everybody. But I think for our first winter, we're A-OK. -okay. With no mushrooms, these people are just sitting here. If I had more job sites, I could move people off of this job and the mushroom collection. Right now, we have a ton of people who are doing absolutely nothing, just really hanging out and waiting for, <laughs> for the spring. That's good, though. We'll call it a holiday. They're enjoying some time relaxing with their families, I hope. Okay, we're looking for places to get water. Because eventually, we're going to have this very awkward moment when our water consumption goes up by a ton. At that point, I'll then panic and attempt to get as many water producers as possible. It'll be too late. I, I guarantee it'll be too late at that point. Let's try to think ahead. Uh, this road comes across. We have no stone. A hey, unspeakable! Unspeakable, thank you for the ongoing subscription. Resorty doesn't speak for all of us. Resorty appointed himself ruler and took over. It's time to show him the power of the people. What do you mean? If there were no twitch.tv slash resorty, there would be no people. Rabble, 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 rabble. Uh, unspeakable, thank you for the generosity. No thank you for the political propaganda against your uh, lord and commander, resorty. <laughs> Good seeing you. <laughs> I will not have propagandists in this community. So metalworking is now understood. We'll start building forges and such in just a moment. But... We also now can learn about hunting. Hunting, though, requires to have 22 tools that we may go and bop the uh, the deer in the head. Um, community needs is next up, then. is the only one that requires um, only things I have, stone and such. I would like to go hunting, but we'll have to get tools going for that. And tools require wood plus iron ingots, so lots more building needed, I believe. This stone building's been built. It has stone cars already. Eventually we can make stone pits to get huge amounts of stone out of the ground. For the moment, though, we just need more stone, more stone, more stone. So put you cuddling next door to help. Wait, how do you all have riot emotes? I don't mean like riot the game company, I mean riot like what you're doing on my channel right now. Maybe I should make some riot emotes. Resorty riot. I don't know. Let's sit down and have a nice little chat, hold hands for a while, talk about what went wrong. It's all good. We do have some new emotes coming very soon. I believe the developer will, not developer, the designer will get me new emotes uh, tomorrow or the day after. Looking like the, the final moments of the creation of these new emotes. They'd be very, very cool. And I'm most excited about the one of my wife. My wife gets an emote. She's been asking for one for ever. So I think she'll be quite pleased to get it. Oh, you know what? The new well I just put in over here needs to be on a road. Speaking of emotes, how many better Twitch TV emote slots are available? Um, <laughs> I, I think I may have used one. Like... Definitely and sincerely, I am pretty bad at using any of the Twitch plugins. Not plugins even, any of the Twitch... What's the word for it? Extensions, I think? It is a program that lets people who don't subscribe use emotes, which I, I love. And like, we do have follower emotes also. But I know some people have just tons and tons and tons of emotes, and... I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. They're expensive to make. Cost money to make them. Hey, Sophia Dragon, thank you for the generous gift sub to the community. Cypher7, Cypher enjoy the emotes and such. Sophia, thank you for your kindness. Hope you're having a good day today. It's nice spending some time with you. Only a day or two more and our roads will connect. Soon, 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 soon. Dr. Noonien soon. I believe the first time we played this game, we may have lost in the winter. Like, things fell apart so quickly. This time's going significantly better, though the winter continues on apace. Uh, if I'm not going to get tools going anytime soon, which seems likely... Never mind! 
Working with iron. Chief, we can now process metals. You can give us the means to make tools of our own so we can see to our daily tasks. We can work without tools too, but this will tire us physically and mentally. And the more often we have to work without tools, the more likely we are to make mistakes and cause accidents. I'm intending to give you tools. Just give me some time to work on that. All right, so to make tools, we have to begin with the production of ingots. It takes 30 stone. So stone is the major drawback right now. It's coming in at 27, consumed at 37. That consumption is my using for construction. Hello, cat. How many of my emotes are resorty backpack battle emotes? <laughs> Actually, none. Like, I'm someone who, who does not do a good job of making new relevant emotes for every game I play. I'm always impressed when people do so. I know some of the major streamers have, like, on-call, all-the-time-available um, emote designers. When they play a Fallout game, they have Fallout emotes. When they play uh, this game, they have, like, brown emotes uh, and, and tree emotes and so on. But I do not know how much that would cost. And I just, I'm unwilling to, to spend that much money on a day-to-day -day game that we don't play all that often. All right, one more round of stone. There we go. All right, forge number one is coming into being right now. So I'm trying to remember. I had a really smart way of laying out the city last time we played this game. I don't recall exactly what it was. A resorty I can stop any time emote. <laughs> I don't want to think about what addiction would be in emote format. It'd be very unpleasant, I guarantee that, but past that I'm not exactly sure. I think also, anytime I make one of something, later I always say, I wish I'd built a second one. And so I'm gonna put both of these down. I also until just now forgot, you can put blueprints down early. You put blueprints down very, very early and then have the city fill in the resources you need. I thought this was a game where instead um, you had to wait till you had the resources and then place the, the finished building. So much better this way. So you can put the blueprint down and then wait for it to get built. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm considering putting down another stone collector. We don't have that many more free workers. It said the people who are at the, uh, the soup kitchen can stop doing that job as they have nothing else to make right now. So let's... Put down even more stone collection. Okay, it's iron out that way. When was the last time I played Backpack Battles? Um, so stream began uh, an hour and 18 minutes ago. The last time I played Backpack Battles was um, an hour and 19 minutes ago. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm not going to deceive you. Uh, it's, it's an ugly, ugly answer, but it is my answer. <laughs> Uh, yep. Is this really the only stone nearby? Yeah, they have to build way out here to get more stone, it looks like. Or we just keep adding additional, uh, clutching spots here. That's fine, too. Hey, quick Ben, how's the new cycle so far? It's good, it's good. And definitely, uh, just getting the base started. Do a little bit of building here and there. Yeah, at least on today's stream, I don't have, uh, backpack battles open in the background. For a while there, last stream, I definitely did. Uh, we have ingots being made. Hooray! I'm actually not going to make this forge. I know I said I wanted to, but I realized if I have a second forge, I can't make my smith. And with no smith, we can't make our tools. And then our people will be so sad. Alright, so we're going to have the front line be forges and then have a road in between and then some smiths, smithies. This is a weird separation here. I don't know why I did that size, but give the place character. All right, so as the ingots are being made, they're being collected at the smith. We'll need five more, that's good. Coffee continues to be room temperature. It's horrible. Some of you have mentioned previously I should have a little uh, like warmer pad in here. 
you can put your mug on it, it stays nice and piping hot. Do any of you have those? Have any of you ever used those? These little electrified pads? I've never used one in parks. I worry in my like random flailing about, I'd put my hand on it and burn myself. <laughs> I can easily see that coming to pass. Guarantee it. All right, it's time to strip soup kitchen workers off and add a few more here for stone. So when spring comes, I can get them back going again. A heating, it's not a heating pad like what you put on your clothes or on your, on your body to stay warm. It's instead, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, unfortunately. You have a powered mug that keeps drinks warm. You know, I'm thinking more, it's kind of like plate. And it's not a hot plate per se, but it's the kind of thing you like put it on top of. I think I've seen car versions of these also, maybe. Maybe, but it's, it's this piece that it's called. You've received this gift but never used them. <laughs> it's hard shopping for Father's Day, Jim. You know this. <laughs> At least someone knows what I'm talking about, though. I'm not just making things up over here. At least no more so than usual. <laughs> But seriously, it is hard shopping for Father's Day. <laughs> it's like a coaster. It's like, a, yeah, a powered coaster in some way. Something like that. Uh, lovely. And they want to get this water producer attached to the road we just built. We have some stone for that. A hey, perfectly placed. So they're allowed to put down blueprints from most buildings before they're play, uh, available resources. You can't do so with the, the roads. The roads, you have to have all the resources first. Luckily, the stone's coming pretty quickly now. One more. One more bit of stone. All we need. Just tick forward. Hey, there we go. Uh, you're not on the road. You're not making water glorious. You give suggestions for Father's Day. Oh, you're... Absolutely beautiful person. My father's actually kind of easy to shop for. For him, it's just a matter of, is it related to Austin Minis? Is it related to mini cars? Then he loves it. It's absolutely great. All right, we now have the production <clears throat> of tools happening. We need to make 65 tools to make the uh, plebs happy. Now, our next job is to upgrade our main hall. Our main hall is our only production source of power right now. And so if we upgrade the main hall, everything stops working. So we want to wait till after winter for that for sure. We could try to unlock windmills first. And what's happening in Researchville right now? Oh, this is nice. We move this around. <gasps> Look at it go. I can put it right in the middle if I want to. So I don't forget about research. That's really quite smart, actually. <laughs> I, I like it a lot. Uh, so we can do power grids now. It'll take a while to research, but our methods are primitive. We have no chance of thriving unless we produce massive amounts of power with which to operate similarly massive machinery. Amazon calls those mug warmers. Zavar, thank you for uh, looking that up for me. Yeah, a mug warmer I'm talking about, people suggest that I get. Friends, it's the spring. We made it to the spring. One person died of old age. That's fine. I mean, that's very sad. We all miss them. Good old what's his name? Here's this year's highlights. No one died of disease, disaster, or lack of water. Nine people joined from outside and seven births were in the positive direction of uh, population growth. In the wake of recent events, the total population increased by nine. We made more food, we made more water, buildings were built. Everything is glorious in year number one. All right, so mushroom harvesting is kicking online again. And we have so much food saved up at 370. Let me strip one more worker off of here. Had them to making more smithery instead. <laughs> Thank you, Senegal. <laughs> Good old what's his name. Oh no, a sad day for us all. It's what's his bucket. Chief, we're no strangers to death, but this is the first time we've encountered so we settled here. And it hurts even more. Hint, there are ways to affect people's health. Food, water, infinite life. No, 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 they died of old age. That's fine, that's fine. That said, I don't like this about myself. When I read We're No Strangers 2, what happens immediately? Dude, 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 dude. We're no strangers to love. You know that one, right? The Rick Astley gets going, it's horrible. 
I need to ask all video game creators to uh, expurg that, that particular phrase from their writing. That's unacceptable. What's this indicator here? Does someone have brain worms? <laughs> also, I think when singing that song, I may have done the like Phil Collins in the air tonight drum solo, possibly. You don't come here for the music. In fact, the music actively repels you, I'm guessing. What what is this indicator? Um, is it saying perhaps that it can take up to one more person, maybe? Yeah, that is what it's saying. I don't know why it shows brain slugs, though. Strange. All right, we're about halfway done with learning about windmills. We're up to 10 basic tools. Fantastic. I'd like to scale this up, but probably not enough workers to do so. But we are in very good shape on wood right now. And I built two lumber mills. I'm going to strip one of them the workers entirely for now and move them over this direction. I have a second forge going, I guess. I was about to say I've, I've overbuilt. I have created far too many workstations, but I recognize it's actually okay. Because in the long term, there is no overbuilt. In the long term, there's only more jobs for future workers. Join my community, we'll put you to work. Hello, Alex. The ad just means I'm being paid to play this game. Uh, the developer reached out very nicely and offered me some money to play it, and it's a lot of fun. Hello, Centurion. You suspect I'm only 90 minutes into my first game. Do you mean my first game of a new cycle? That's where you're wrong. This is apparently veteran play. <laughs> I like new cycle a lot. Uh, I've played it two or three times now. Every time I play it, um, I am delighted by the production cues. Uh, yeah, delighted by seeing how the little fellows live their lives walking around doing stuff. Uh, what distinguishes this game from other of the Banish Flight games is it has an interesting storyline about why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, for right now, we're just trying to build some forges and such, but it's a lot of fun. I like New Cycle quite a bit, and uh, it's a game that I would have come back to even if they hadn't played me. Probably not today, but at some point in the future, for sure. All right, they want me to upgrade the main hull still. I continue to refuse. Potentially holding us back. So I think children take one year to become adults in this game. Maybe two years. I can't remember exactly. How do we see how many kids there are, though? Here we go. 13 children currently. So our population will grow very quickly. Uh, also, children live with their parents, but once they become adults, they need separate housing. So we see we're needing uh, six houses now. If each one holds ten, we have currently five, six, seven, so we're good. How far into the save? This is about 90 minutes into the save, for sure, or a little less than that, but yeah, this is pretty early in the save. We just finished our first year a bit ago. All right, the windmills exist now, thank goodness. So we can use the wind layer to see where there's wind blowing in this map tile. I probably want to have the windmills over here uh, away from the rest of the city. It's not noisy or anything, just for, for easier for me to plan for the future. So windmills take ingots and lumber. Let's get one of those up. And then you can see on the left-hand side of the screen there, that little pip marker, that little... Uh, indicator of how much wind shows up. Obviously, more bits of wind, more better. But, as looking about the uh, windiest area, out here it's less windy. Yeah, let's be fine right here. So, we'll start with one of those. And I don't recall if they need to be plugged in with a road, or if the power automatically shows up. But once power's running, we'll then uh, turn off the main power producer and upgrade. Is wind quality consistent over time? It is. Yeah, wind quality does not uh, increase and decrease. Because can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine going to carry things around the map? <laughs> oh no, the wind moved. Tear it down. Uh, I guess that's a little bit less realistic. Because like, obviously some days the wind blows harder than others. Um, but for the sake of a base builder, I'm very, very grateful that it's not... Yeah, that's not all kinds of uh, uh, puffing and blowing. Now, there are... Um, 
there are seasonal events. So sometimes you get a storm, and during the storm, the wind does blow harder. And that causes you to get more power. I can't remember if it's the opposite. Like, wind still days. But, yeah, it, it's not as complexly models as the real, real world, but there are some changes, I guess. Anyway, friends, it's time for an ad during our ad. We're going to pause there, take a three-minute break, do a little Crawford puzzle while the Twitch ads are running. While that's happening, I uh, may get a drink, get a stretch. Back to this game in about three minutes' time. Between now and then, let's see if we can finish this crossword. We got in such good shape in this corner. We added in so many things we're not here before. We're so close to done. I just do not know who the leader of a 1733 slave instruction is. Commotion. I said Rush. Is Bref Fru a possible name? Sure. But then we have Kinahe. <laughs> and that seems wrong. Field of motion. So, if doors, doors can't be wrong. Like If Dio blank RS is there, it's only doors. What, not to hold on the, uh, uh, what, not to hold on the train. Do rings on the road. Do rings. Uh, could scattered be wrong? Covered inconsistently, like scattered about. That's right. Subject of a exclamation part pop up. Um, error. What's the small wind turbine on the building at Crossroads? Century? And that building is the main base building. It is adverting. Hope they're hearing it still. <laughs> it's your one source of power when the game starts. It's your main base, though. Okay. I just don't want to ask for help, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? So if commotion is push, rush, I'm not sure. So it's going to be some kind of art. The ad should have just started, Gary, about uh, 23 seconds ago. All right, team, what do I not know? Help me, please. Save me from my ignorance this day. What is wrong in what I've done? It's been way too long. Most of it is kinesiology. Yes, that's true. That's true. I spelled holy moly like guacamole. My inability at kinesiology has been because I've been absolutely sure this E is right. <sighs> Uh, yeah, good catch, folks. Good catch. Thank you. Uh, something is wrong. Something is wrong. That's fine. Uh, at least we feel better at this. Yeah, no, I, I get kinesiology now. It's just I had the E here, and with the E here, I couldn't see anything other than log, log. Okay. As usual, when you get stuck, check your things. Kinesiology is absolutely right. Good catch, good catch. So, fuss seems good also, which means that something is wrong somewhere. Does anyone happen to know what it is? So I'm not really feeling like looking through everything, <laughs> as I don't remember any of that. Uh, let's see here. What looks like not a word, possibly? Deregulates. That's a word. What's notey? Not overlooked. To note, obviously. Uh, Source of humor for friends is an in-joke. Go-to is attend. Prefix meaning half is demi or semi. Sure. Steeped in good. Settings for stories Insta. 17 down, maybe. Oh, good call. Rings on the road. Ah, what's that? Do rings on the road. We have overshoe for a soul protector. We have credit for props. Covering consistently is... Oh, it's probably a lope, isn't it? It's spattered. A lope. There we go. Good catch. Do rings, like get married on the road, a lope. Ah, it's good. So scattered and spattered. Spattered is probably the better answer all the way through, but good catch. We're free. We're finally free. Uh, right to here apparently is an Indian yogurt. I didn't know it either, but there you go. Ah, finally free. Finally free. Finally free. That said, we have the uh, February 19th puzzle still hanging over us also. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Full body cast. I don't know. Allotment. What's it down here again? La Blanc Nuova. Prose and verse work by Dante. Probably Luita, I assume. So all over cast. Die, probably? All over die, maybe. Wait, how's die spell? I think like that, rather. Is it? Tool and die making, I think is I. We'll see in a little bit on that one. Um, answering machine. Trivia master. Trivia geek. Stellar figure. Um, the word orb I hate so much. It could be like a, a sun or a star, possibly. I eat my blank with honey. I've done it all my life. I eat my peas with honey, possibly. A Western band's a posse. That's great. A common setting... Sorry, common Star Trek setting. SD looks pretty bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, space. Um, 10 forward. The ship, possibly. Engine filter. Well, the ad breaks over. Progress is happening. We'll return to it in an hour or so. We finished one crossword. Thank goodness. Uh, welcome back to the world of new cycle. Um, so, our adorable little... Where is it? Yes, adorable little main base must be upgraded once they finish making the other electricity producer, which is being made way out. I'm lost. Being made over towards the water, I believe. Mm. There it is. It is spinning. Almost. There's my new house are off by a tile. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, we're not quite producing enough on the one windmill to uh, get ourselves the upgrade yet. So one more of these. No, everything is perfectly placed. There's not a single element of this base that could be any better. I guarantee. I guarantee. Remember watching someone who did like an absolutely gigantic uh, map covering city. Like every bit of the map was covered in a city. And it was so well organized and so perfectly put together. And I can't imagine showing that kind of care towards anything ever in my life. It was just absolutely amazing. All right. The forge is producing ingots. Still have positive iron ore. Pods on everything right now except for the ingots. Ingots are being consumed as we made, but that is appropriate. We're up to 58 of 65 tools. So our mission here is almost completed also. Soon, soon, soon. Get made yet, friend? Yes. Just needs to start spinning. So we're waiting for a worker to come see it. Someone tromping all the way over here, possibly. There's the tromper. Where are you coming from, tromp person? Maybe that road there, possibly. Uh, HPG, you got your new OS installed. Hey, awesome. Good job, good job. I know that uh, you had your computer die on you what, earlier today or yesterday, whichever way. I'm glad that you're joining us again in the realm of the computered. That's right. Those who have computers. The computered. Okay, top speed to watch this. Lovely. All right, we now have enough power to do the upgrade. Chief, a community center made up of a few tents doesn't feel very secure. We can build something with our resources and crafting capabilities that won't topple in a gust of wind. Let's assign resources and take steps to strengthen the roofs of our head, though it may not please the eye. Make it so. Uh, we need to have 25 iron ingots to do the upgrade now. Soon, 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 soon. We're also not researching currently, are we? So if I go hunting, or you choose hunting, it consumes tools to do the research. Uh, I believe those tools disappear entirely. They might be false. But I want to make sure we have the 65 tools first in order to um, complete the main hall. No, sorry, complete the quest first. Maybe they don't disappear. It says to produce them, not to have on hand. Uh, whichever way, we're researching farming now. Probably have the farms researched by the beginning of spring. We'll have it down the middle of spring instead. Okay. Water's really high right now. We're consuming 
about 90 less a day than we're producing. We should definitely get more though. At some point soon we'll learn to, learn to upgrade our wells. But yeah, having wells under control everywhere seems just really quite nice. So, one there. All right, 11 out of 25 ingots saved up now. So all ingots being produced are now going directly into um, directly into the leveling up of the cycle here. Of the entire the hub, rather. The main whole hub. The hub around which the cycle goes. Something like that. If three workers are doing nothing. Uh, three workers are doing nothing. What are we going to do with you? Who needs workers currently? So no one's crying out for workers. I know I turned off one of these kitchens, though. We've got a bunch of mushrooms again, so I'll add them back in. Hmm. Is there a view I can use that will show me which buildings need workers? It's the alt key. That's right. The alt key shows what's being made, and then who needs workers, etc. So we actually don't need the soup kitchen to be filling if we have more than enough food. Instead, have work on forging. Are there threats in this game? Um, there's some storyline threats for sure. Like there, after a while here, we have a large ship come and attack us. Um, the big threat is the seasons, though, and your inability to think about logistics. Uh, inability to think about what needs to be built in what order, as always. <laughs> but uh, it's not like RimWorld, though, where you have active raids against you. At least not that I've seen yet. Um, another big fear is the solar flare. So the reason why humans are in this state, though it's the future, is that some trans solar flares come, causing the destruction of everything, um, loss of technology and so on. And there's knowledge that another big solar flare is coming. And so you are working against some kind of timer. Um, I don't quite know how that works though. I'm not quite sure at what point the, um, at what point the uh, new flare will come. And so far, the only way I know to fight it is to go hide underneath the ground, which we've never pulled off successfully. So, that's the challenge of the game. All right, we are upgrading our main hall now. The old one disappears, the new one begins building. We lose our power production for now, but that's fine. And, message from the community. Every one of us needs a proper place to live. We have food and water, but sleeping at nooks we find each night doesn't help prepare us for the next day's labor. That's right. Rest is only for better laboring tomorrow. Sure, I'll give you eight hours a day off if you sleep all eight of them. They want three more shelters. As of right now, everyone is sheltered, but I left open space here for more shelters because we will use them eventually once more people live, uh, move in. rather. So I put in one... Two. Great. And now I'll be ready for about 100 people or so. We gave the people the tools they need. So I go into the worker line here. Everyone has some tools. I'm going to go up to giving everyone enough tools to work decently. Increasing the morale a little bit more. Are these messages tutorial or play assist? So these messages are play assist, but also objectives. They're, they're quests that you're given. Now, I guess they're kind of tutorial-like, but there is a standalone tutorial that will walk you through everything if you want to, and we're not doing that. It was hard. We excelled. Happy day for our house as we built more houses. Hooray. Yeah, and doing some missions, which you can choose to do or refuse to do, will change the morale and happiness of your people. Uh, sometimes they will be very cranky that you've not given them the tools they want, etc. All right, so on research... We can now make taverns and cemeteries. We want them to make the tavern in order to raise the morale of the people who live near it. That will come in a moment. For now, hunting. We can finally get some food production during the winter. Uh, if I want to go for farming, um, fertility is part of that story, I know. Where are farms? Are they production buildings? I've not researched them yet. That's the issue here. They're working on researching them, I believe. Yeah. Oh, no, it's done. Oh, it's cemetery. I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing I called a farm is what's known as a cemetery. 
I knew it was a large open space of dirt. Even in the Earth's last day, we cannot neglect the qualities of their kind that make us what we are. The human heart must be gratified with booze and cemeteries. Farms over here, actually. It's the next line. Good. Good, good. All right. What is cemetery somewhere? Uh, where's the cemetery be? How about off here? A beautiful overlook that people may stop and enjoy. The de uh, departed. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think it needs to be attached to a road because I don't think people actually go there. Um, but I believe that you need to have open spots for bodies to show up as people die solely of old age. Don't you worry. No one will ever die of any other reason in this base. Uh, we are pooling our um, iron ore pretty well right now, which means I should be consuming more of it in tool making. So we'll add another one of these smiths right here. I think this happened last time I played also. I'm at a point now where I'd just like to have more people. Um, like everything's in good shape. Everyone's very happy. It's just a matter of can we get sufficient um, people to run my infrastructure. It's a beautiful. I think there's some building we can build. Oh yeah, there's a whole world map element also. I totally forgot about that. We can't go to the world map yet. Yeah, at some point soon, you can be interacting with other parts of the world and inviting people to join you. That will be good. Let them know there's safety and happiness here. And trees. So many trees. Uh, is our new... There we go. Our new uh, hall is constructed. An even bigger windmill. More stable and sturdy city hall than ever before. Hopefully the people are inspired by our creations. Uh, cycle 3 is coming soon. Uh, this is the Roots and Branches cycle, where we learn how to plant things in the ground and also dig uh, stone with mines instead of just people scraping on the ground in these little piles here and there. Hey, Vera. Did I try to get access from Millennia? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, I know what Millennia is. I, I played it during the um, Early Access demo during Next Fest. But are there... Uh, are there streamers who are getting to play it early and I'm not one of them again? Do you show up just to make me sad? Resorty, Paradox doesn't really like you, Resorty. Paradox thought that you were cool, but then they didn't anymore, Resorty. <laughs> I'm sure we'll play Millennium when it comes out. Um, it looks like a lot of fun for sure. Okay, meeting and fishing and raw hiding. Did I try to get early access? I, I didn't see a way to do so. I don't think I'm cool enough for the Cool Kids Club, unfortunately. I know that I had a... There it is. I have a hunter spot out here. It's fine. We'll play it when we play it. I'm not terribly concerned about uh, not being able to play Millennia yet. It's probably a game I'll enjoy playing a little bit, but probably not when we have the centerpiece of our stream by any means. Paradox should be nicer to me. Yeah, that's right. Everyone should be nice to Resorty. No, it, it has not been mean at all. It's just I, I'm not quite a large enough stream a large enough streamer to attract big attention from them but it makes sense right they have um streamers who they work with who have thousands of viewers at a time and i got my little community we have a good time but they get uh only so many codes to pass out i am a shareholder that's right they should they should remember that i actually own them <laughs> it's fine it's totally fine we'll play it whenever we get to playing it it's not a concern at all though there's so many other good games to play right now, including the one I'm playing at this moment. Uh, we got a ton of wood saved up. Uh, also, a, not a ton of lumber, but a good amount of lumber as well. So let me go ahead and strip some workers off of one of the lumber camps. Yeah, this one right here in particular has almost gotten all of its wood. So I'm going to take all three of them and then destroy that building. With three more workers, we can move them onto the forge then to help make more tools. And I see we are starting to get a little bit low on uh, not basic wood, but lumber instead. We do have a second lumber mill here we can turn on. This place is getting wood also. And again, it's almost through all the trees. So we take two workers off of that and move them here instead. Good. Good, 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 good. Watching my bar of things up here, I see we are 
going a little low on iron ore. Um, because now we are consuming even more, so we need to produce more as well. For that, though, how about some more workers? May I have some more workers? Merkers? May I have some more <laughs> workers, please? You appreciate streamers who are not marketing shills. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that I get to work with companies. Like, it's very cool to me that I have some relationship with companies that support my channel and think I put some good stuff out there, but, but no. Um, I don't ever want to get locked down to just one game or just one company because I don't wouldn't enjoy streaming as much then. Like there are probably some games I can play exclusively for a pretty long time. Um, when we first played Crusader Kings CK2, I played nothing but it for probably two months. Um, the same with RimWorld. You know, when I first played that, I played it for such a long time. But the idea of saying I'm only going to play one game forever because the devs like me that way, like feels gross. It's a little gross for me. So I mean. If it works for you, awesome. Hope you have a good life. It does not work well for me, unfortunately. All right, we can now get the work hall going. With a settled living space, we can now produce a lot of things that require expertise and time. I just noticed the one of my buttons is unbuttoned. This is me buttoning my shirt on stream, my apologies. Uh, make things that require expertise and time. Being able to produce intermediate products is the most important step to further progress it can only be done with an organized workspace and proper planning. I don't remember herbal tea. I don't remember herbal tea. This must be newly added to the game. Uh, makes sense though, because previously you didn't get any health bonuses until you had the infirmary. I think the infirmary is a few eras on. But sure, but sure. Let's learn about that now. Herbal tea is new in this patch. That makes sense then. Wait till Anomaly's out. Back to RimWorld all the time. Ah, you weren't here for my RimWorld Anomaly DLC reaction, were you? I'm just not excited for it. I realize it's absolute sac uh, sacrilege to say, but it's just... Ah, it does not scratch my normal RimWorld itch, unfortunately. So We'll probably play it when it comes out, but I do not see myself turning into a RimWorld bot again. But who knows? Who knows? Occasionally games uh, capture the imagination in a way that one doesn't expect until, until too late. All right. At this point, we are over-consuming ore and ingots. So I'm going to take two workers off the smith and try to get additional ore production. So where is their iron ore? This thing is only stone. The one in the middle, the clutches in the middle here, are already full up. This can get iron also. Good. We can now make the work hall and the herbal tea and the tanned leather. So herbal tea probably requires herbs, which we can collect. There's way out here, I think. We saw them earlier. So if we pull up a resource building, the gathering camp, we can see there are herbs there and some other places also. Unfortunately, there are none over here where I built my uh, my hunting shack, unfortunately. So what's nearest by? This is pretty nearby. Continue the road along here. Let's go ahead and do that first. Maybe we'll be lucky and find some water out here also. Gathering camp. Hello? Gathering camp to gather a bit of herbs. And then is there water here also? There is actually. Cool. Someone wants to speak with me, Resorty. Greetings, Chief. We are representatives of a small community. Our expeditions led us to your settlement and we're delighted to see such an advanced community here. We'd like to barter with you and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership. In these challenging times, every link between those goods, those who have goods to spare is a boon. What do you say? I could say we'd be happy to. Our first trader visits, or we don't want to do that, go away. Trading seems nice. I don't exactly recall trading works in this game, except that I believe I've been 
scammed previously as they bring their bottle caps and buy my things. And I say, oh no, we're not in Fallout. Bottle caps are useless, useless. And oh, how they laughed. Uh, we are over consuming food right now. We don't have our second soup kitchen on. We're up to how many children now? 18 children. They have no entertainment. They want that tavern so badly. You can go ahead and build that tavern also, I suppose. It takes eight iron ingots left we'll soon. Now, how does this thing work again? So, luckily, if we put the tavern in the middle here, it does cover absolutely everybody. The issue will just be getting a road to it. And I believe it's a little bit thicker than... Is it thicker? Yeah, it is thicker than the standard house. So, we'll be wasting a little bit of space in the middle. That's okay. We go up here. Go up to here, rather. It still covers everything I've built so far. Even to here, the same. I do see, though, on the top um, of the screen there that part of where I'd be building is mountainous. So I ideally don't want to include that area, but have not planned too much. That is fine. We'll get a road over to it. I think one house might fit there. If not, I'll move the road later. Nice. All right, time for some joy for our people. After all their labors, at least we can give them that. At some point soon, some travelers should be joining us. Are you travelers? Uh, we don't have any livestock, no draft animals. We've got some guy named Olog and one named Sven. They've been born of dust. They've been born of bronze in their soul. What do they do? This is actually entertainment. They're not pushing work things. That's a race. Come on, Sven, you can do it. Just push faster. No, he's hogging the road. I can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The things we do to keep our people amused. <laughs> All right. So we have a big stockpile of anything right now. Uh, just the mushrooms, which again is good for going into the winter. And same with the uh, water there. Gathering camp construction has begun. So to get the herbal medicine going, I need to have the new workhouse, as well as at least one person gathering uh, the herbs. I'm going to find one person gathering mushrooms and steal them away. Hello. Cap. It's so one herb gather then. Cool. And then over here, we'll make our first workhouse. Um, put it across the street, maybe. Production building. Sorry, work hall, not workhouse. The structure offers a working environment where we can produce many different products, especially organic raw materials, allowing performing tasks such as brewing, packaging, baking, leather processing, and grinding grain. Herbal tea and tan leather can be made here for 95 electricity. We have all of that. And I want to leave this area open because I believe this area is full of um, resources beneath the ground, notably stone and clay and so on. I'll do a little bit in this way, I guess. Sure. First ever workhouse. Keep out a workhouse. Either they work hall, workhouse to me. It's not a factory, it's a home. Speaking of homes, behold the tavern. So at least entertainment is happening, though we do not have booze or milk or tea. Hopefully the tea fairly soon. Hopefully, hopefully. Am I researching anything? Of course not, but there's nothing we can research until we get to the next uh, cycle here. And you can see that cycle by checking your main base. And we see we need to have two more population and 61 more knowledge. So it's just a matter of waiting for children to grow up or something. Uh, what is your complaint? Your complaint is you have no ingots. That's fine. Its ingots are currently going to the new work hall here. Needs to have quite a few more of them, but that'll stop tool making for a while. This is one challenge I had last time I played this, was keeping an eye on how much we can take for construction without destroying work queues. 
And the answer is it's very, very delicate balance often. And so even a little bit of unexpected construction causes things to fall apart in a hurry. But I think we can just go faster game speed right now as not much is happening currently. Travelers appeared nearby. Here they come. These foreigners we've been waiting for. Welcome, foreigners. <laughs> I like how they're dressed. Look at a bunch of, like, uh, questing hobbits with their little uh, feet. Oh, they're probably children, actually. <laughs> I was in the wrong frame of mind. I saw hobbits and elves, but no, just children and adults. Ah, I see how this works. Uh, so we actually have to wait for they actually get all the way through the road and to our central building to uh, ask them to join us. And we'll be glad to have them for sure. And I'm not quite sure where I'll deploy them, except I see that our logs are falling low. And with that said, I do have two lumber mills. I probably don't need both of them running right now. So it's two workers back. They'll move to hopefully gathering wood for a while at least because it is going down still now because we started or stopped consuming so much of the raw logs to make lumber this number should heal itself anyway look this game is similar to kenshi yeah definitely these buildings kind of like thrown together and barely hanging on reminds me of kenshi fallout games of that sort people just trying to hang on despite something terrible having happened so i guess in kenshi i don't know if anything terrible happened or if it's always been that way. Like, the world has always been falling apart. What do you want? <laughs> I know Kenshi has substantially more lore than I'm aware of, but I do wonder why are things so terrible? Ah, uh, work haul. So, to get leather, one needs to use logs plus herbs plus rawhide. I guess you rub the uh, the herbs all over it. To get herbal tea, you need herbs and water. Uh, so we're going to need two of these buildings. Um, an interesting choice for the update to make herbs actually useful. Because uh, I believe in early game before this update, there was no point in having herb collection at all. But now herb collection actually is valuable. So it's used for both making leather, which is used for making clothes. I think previously we would get leather just from killing animals, and then you'd use that leather directly to make um, clothing. Now it's a little more complicated. Hey, Trexy, good seeing you. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's a Sunday for many of you, I know. Hopefully your weekends are ending up well. It's a Monday for me. I got to teach in a few hours here, but until then, I'm glad to hang out with you. Yesterday, I went and got a haircut. As I mentioned, uh, it had been three or so months since I got the haircut, and uh, my barber offered one commentary in English, uh, saying that my hair looked very, very better <laughs> after he cut it, which is absolutely true. Absolutely true, it was very, very better, because for such a long time I had not gotten a haircut, and it was a poofy and explosive, and now I feel like a respectful human being once more. We would rapidly evolve from a small camp to a proper village. People are the cornerstone of the fast-growing, stable community like ours. Their needs and well-being should be prioritized above all else. Let's try to raise the morale of the workers above a certain threshold. Sure. Need to go to 70. We're at 50 right now. So, you may work fewer hours. You may get double food. You may get... Double water. You may get double tools. And now we wait for a moment and they should be uh, quite happy. They'll bring it back down again. You remember I have complexity about payment to my barber? Yet again, the barber refuses to charge me full price. <laughs> I do not know why. But this man has become convinced that I will only come to his store if he gives me free things. So I always order the exact same uh, set. I order the men's haircut, the relaxing shave, and the head massage. And every single time, he gives me the head massage servisu, free. And I don't know why. And I want to find a way to give him more money, but he just keeps giving me this thing for free, which is, is very nice of him, but still. 
I understand he's like a father and has a very young son. And it's it's very annoying. So now he does nice things for me. Anyway, 15 workers have joined us. These are the ones we've been waiting for. Get to work, all of you. Into the factory. Go, go, go. And then guy with... Where's, where's the new uh, herb farm? There it is. More friends for herb farming. Hooray. Gifts beget gifts? No, this is the problem. If you give a gift in Japan, you join the Japanese gift exchange. And he will then give me things back. Like, physical things back. And then I'll be obliged to give him physical things back. And we'll have to give him a gift every single time we see each other forever. So I believe I just need to accept that he gives me nice things and give him nothing in return. <laughs> other than my continued business. Which I think is what's supposed to happen here. As an American, though, I just feel weird not paying full price every time. Like, I'm absolutely okay with the occasional, like, hey, it's your birthday month. Here's a free birthday shave or whatever. But if it's every month, it's weird. It's weird. This is definitely a cultural difference. He's doing a nice thing. It feels like not a nice thing. For Bidding whispers, foreboding whispers. Chief, we know we're in no place to make demands, but it's a fundamental issue. Community health is deteriorating to the point we may have to start losing fellows soon. Lack of care, malnutrition, hygiene problems, the harsh seasons. Let us ha not have to remind you facts at play. Working long shifts and scorching hot weather, dehydration and the weather affect us all the more. Go on. Likewise, working in the cold without proper clothing is also hazardous to the community. If we force tired and under-equipped people to work long shifts, we should expect the number of fatal accidents to increase. Ultimately, our success in all we do depends on our health and resilience society. Take the right steps to achieve regular health for 30 days. I will do so, I promise. How does tipping work there? We do not tip in Japan. Tipping in Japan is a way of saying, um, that you could possibly do a bad job, and so I guess you did a good job this time. Here's your money. We do not tip here at all. Um, get him another customer. Yeah, the problem is his shop is 45 minutes away from here, and I know three people in all of Japan, so <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's tough. But I'll try. Uh, I did leave him a positive review on Google um, in both Japanese and English and mentioned how kind he is to foreigners. So I hope that's a nice thing I've done that will cause other people to go to the store. Not sure. All right, we kept morale high enough, making the community happier than ever before. Sorry, team. Give my tools back, give my water back, give my food back, get back to work. All right, so worker health has to go up. We have only two more free workers. Uh, Send Jonah over. That's actually a good idea. I have taken my wife along, so... The um, proprietor's wife also works there. She doesn't do haircuts, but she does face shaving, in which they shave off not hair, but instead skin. Probably it's a common beauty treatment for women here. So I had my wife uh, get there. I got one for my wife a few times, but she doesn't actually like it that much. And so I, uh, yeah, I definitely can't force her to go. <laughs> so <laughs> the part of it's very long also. The face shaving takes an hour and a half or so. It's all very relaxing and have a good time feeling care occurring for you. And uh, she spends the whole time sitting there thinking about work, of course, and wanting to write emails. <laughs> all right. So we are losing food fairly quickly right now. Uh, a large portion of that is the increase in population. So I'm going to need to make another food producer. Now, part of why we lost so much recently is my kicking up to double food for everyone. Why not get the face shaved? Because it's not just hair, right? It's like all the skin and such. And then when, when the, uh, what's the word? A beautician's done doing the work. She holds up a little towel and shows you all of your dead skin that she shaved off. <laughs> I don't know. Not for me, thanks. Not for me. But... Uh, more kitchens, more good. Uh, lumber mill's not working. That's intentional. Workhouse is not working. I have only one more worker. Uh, morale just dropped. That's because I modified food amounts. We're beginning to make leather. Now there's nothing... 
we use leather for right now. So I'm actually not sure why I'm making it. Let's hold off on that until we know how to make clothes. Our first merchant's coming right now. Hooray. And we're starting to cycle three. So how much more research do we need before we can go cycle three? <sighs> Only a few more points. We get 58 per day, so in one day's time, we should go to our next cycle, hopefully. Act before it's too late! Worker health has gotten high enough. I have no idea why. Probably because we made that tea. Nonetheless, health is high enough for people to not be having a horrible time and coughing their guts out. That's exactly it. We have enough tea production to keep everyone drinking the herbs and feeling somewhat better. It gives natural aid. We can use herbs for a, for a wide range of benefits, from boosting the immune system to uplifting the population. More morale, more health, slightly increased recovery rate for non-fatal diseases. Good. Good, good. Uh, hello, merchant. Got that light out front. Looking for an honest man. Good way to save your hands, though, isn't it? It's a smart way of carrying your, uh, your lantern there. I've actually never seen this before. <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> All right. So, as of right now, our base is really stable. There's nothing we need to do until we have the uh, next cycle move occur. Our knowledge is not increased at all. When the date clicks over, okay, it did just there. We've reached the new cycle. They said the game's name, a new new cycle. Roots and branches, buildings and resources available, the kale yard, the mines, the tailor, the technical boot camp, and all the rest. If only I had even more people. The merchant though is here, ready to do some trading. Hello foreigner, what do you have? The foreigner has uh, tools and iron. He wants to buy meat. Uh, as of right now, I don't need tools or iron, and I do need meat, so I'm going to just say no. But thank you. Thank you for visiting. Alright, so into next research level then. And we can do vocational training, or cultivation, or surveillance. Building statics is the one we can make right now. No, it's not. That requires even more <clears throat> research points. So we have insufficient research to do anything currently. <laughs> the cheapest of them, though is either vocational training or building statics, it looks like. Yeah. So we need 2,300 to begin digging in the pit and making some bricks. We're at 22, 27, so two more days we'll do it on that. And what will I do between now and then? Yeah, one worker is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, sure, work on... I made a new food location here. Let's start turning meat into foods. Good. All right. Uh, while we wait for the research to come in, I'm going to make some coffee. I'll be back in just a little bit. Um, the only two or so minutes. I'm going to run the game at speed two. And uh, hopefully it doesn't all burn down. We'll see. Back in a moment. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're enjoying the game. I'm going to go ahead and put on the be right back screen. And I will be right back. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it so much.
All right. Did it all burn down? Did it all burn down yet? Most likely did not burn down, thank goodness. Hello, friends. Got some coffee now. Back with it. Uh, also decided to get myself a piece of a snack, rather. Or the snack. What snack did I get? A piece of bread. <laughs> One of the more disappointing meals of all time. The piece of bread meal. And, uh, oh. Do you have this problem? I have a problem about bread eating. If I eat bread too quickly, I give myself the hiccups. I don't know why this is. Something, something diaphragm, but just bread and bready things. If I chow down on them very quickly, hiccups galore every time. All right, so while we're gone, nothing actually happened. Uh, but here we go, life in regulation. Chief, our transition to settled life will bring with it dozens of issues need to be resolved. Rules and regulations will need to be will be needed to keep everything in order and running smoothly. As our leader, it'll be up to you to make the final decision. We hope you can weigh the demands well and choose wisely. You can be sure we'll support you as much as we can when you choose difficult paths. However, the decisions you make that shape the community one step at a time. Always remember the burden you bear. I'll do what I can. How's bread in Japan compared to the U.S.? It's much sweeter here in general. Uh, Japanese uh, Western bread is very, very sweet. Uh, Japan's not a traditional bread culture, rice instead. Um, but yeah, really sweet, really soft. Um, yeah, it's just common, but yeah, it's not a bread culture, like I said. Uh, we almost have our daily lives in order. We secure f housing, food to eat, and duties to fulfill. We've come to believe we're now entitled to freedoms. We continue to comply with assigned work schedules and perform some duties. However, Anyone who doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work should be able to buy some extra rest by selling his share of food or some other supply. You should allow us to barter amongst ourselves. Surely you can give us that much. All are free to trade what they want. This makes us work less effectively, but freedom morale, where everything is regulated. So I've always chosen the path of liberalism here. I've always said people have freedom to do what they want to do with their things. I wonder what happens if I start saying, no, you must keep working. Mandatory work schedule this time. Can't have people frittering away the day and forcing someone else to do work in their place. Absolutely not. Is there rye bread here? I don't think I've seen rye bread here at all in Japan. Like, there surely is some somewhere, but I myself have not seen it. For sure. Autumn is again upon us. So winter's coming, but I think we're in good shape for the winter. We'll just need to let it go. If you're an experienced player of this game and you want to start a new playthrough, one's always allowed to start at cycle five instead of at the very beginning. Um, so you're able to speed through this part of the game. Uh, I decided not to do that because I didn't remember <laughs> so very much about the game. Uh, but I could see on future playthroughs starting at that uh, more advanced stage with more technologies unlocked already. Winter is upon us. No more mushrooms. No more farms. Health goes down. And three children have become adults. So we have three more workers now. Um, do any of my gathering camps have hunting nearby that's not being done? So hunting is done there. No hunting there. Hunting is available here. So places that have mushroom gathering can't be done during the winter. So remove workers from that pile. Growing pure meat for now instead. Good. We have four workers for whatever we want to do. Uh, this is making leather. Instead, let's turn on this lumber mill, I guess. And have a couple workers there. And a couple more meat workers. And that's that for this winter. If we go look at the various houses here. Lots of people hanging out. They got entertainment still. How much herbal tea are we producing versus consuming, I wonder? On herbal tea, we're producing 19, or 21 and getting 9 consumed a day. So we have more than enough to keep people healthy for the time being. We'll need to keep an eye on it, though, and create another work hall eventually to make sure everyone can uh, get their teas. Eight more children were born this year. So three adults, eight more kids born. Bring it up, we can see we now have 31 children and 61 adults. 
that's going to be one. That's going to be a ninety-two. I can do math. I swear. When everyone grows up, we have one, two, three, four, five by two. So we have one hundred slots currently. We're going to need some more. So we need to make some more houses pretty soon here along this side. While I'm thinking about it, I'll do it. And unfortunately, I didn't make this uh, in inroad. Is that the word for it? Sure, quite well enough to make sure there's uh, space for a house there. We can go this way instead, though. Always forget. You got to hold on the shift key to get more than one building at a time. There we go. And the road continues along. And a message from the people. What do you want, people? Chief, if you want to build a future in this nameless land and make it last, we need more people more than anything. Let's set an aim to increase population to 100 people in the next four years. I would like that also. Please get to making more babies. It would help your king very, very much. And let's say people, they mean only adults. We need 100 adults in the next four years. So one group of travelers and then our... Uh, extant children becoming adults will make this thing work just fine. In order to get back to stream without being gone too long, I always um, heat up my coffee water a little bit less than I should. I always worry it's going to taste absolutely terrible when I take my first sip, but it's good. And so I know it's like tea, you're supposed to make boiling water. I always make my tea with just whatever kind of water I say is fine. Like the, the water craft heats up for a while, and I say, eh, it's making noise, that must be close. <laughs> I know I should wait until it goes click, indicating that it has fully heated, but never do, never do, never do. Right, I'm seeing that we need to have uh, additional storage space. Our storage is almost full right now, so it's in utilities. Tepid, it's not tepid. It's not tepid exactly. It's just, you know... Not unless it could be. Some would argue that coffee's always nasty. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> coffee's good. Good. Year two is done. One person died of old age. 15 grew up outside. 27 births. Our population went up by 17 in total. We have more water. We have more food. Everything is glorious. You use an old percolator for your coffee. Makes the best coffee. I had a percolator in the US. I really enjoyed quite a bit, but... Here I just use heated water and coffee instant crystals. And it's pretty tasty, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. All right, so we have so many people now. Four more in particular became adults. 11 more were born, so we're just waiting for them to get, become adults. But these additional four people I should put into the mushroom jobs that were turned off previously. So who has mushrooms? You do! I'm gonna move one of my cooking lo cooking locations over to meat instead. And for reason that is we have lots of meat coming in now. All done. <laughs> oh, we should be researching. Uh, I always forget to start researching. I, I wish there were a way that the game would indicate, hey, you have a lot of unspent points. Are you sure you don't wanna be researching right now? Cause gosh, I sure wanna be researching. <laughs> totally forgot to do so. Cemetery 1 construction is just now done. Oh, I put a cemetery in the middle of the base. I meant to put a stockpile there. I'm sorry, Cemetery 1. Off you go. Are you actually Cemetery 1, though? This is Cemetery 1. I wish to rename you. May I rename you? I'll see what to rename it. Uh, let's select the correct building this time. So it is a utility, it's a stockpile instead. There we go. All better, all better, all better. What does it take to make a stockpile? Just nine wood. In that case, while I'm thinking about it, I'll make another one too. Good stuff. Tons of water. Um, because the Water wells are basically free. They don't cost any electricity even. I'll just continue adding more of them because these will need to all get done eventually. But down this road some more. Find these two. 
and we hacked up like so. Good. I'll put in at least one more while I'm thinking about it. Sure. Okay, if I put this on the road, it doesn't touch all three of them. So let's go back a little bit and grab those like so. What's up, Secretary? Good seeing you. Good seeing everybody today. As I said earlier, it's a Monday here, so the weekend has occurred. It is now over in my neck of the woods, but hopefully you've had some relaxation time even into this evening. If you're still in the evening, wherever you are. Lovely. Lovely. So even more water production. I don't know if water storage is, consumes uh, stockpile storage. Can we see on that? Hmm. Yeah, so water does also go into the stockpile. So it's currently uh, 7,500 of the 15,000 total I have. We, we definitely need a little bit more <laughs> storage space. <laughs> Luckily, we'll have it in a moment here. All right. Uh, refreshments. Uh, this year's rains were enough to renew the existing resource in the land. They blessed the rains down in camp anonymity. So because of that, everyone has high morale. Great. And this, uh, these stockpiles do want the road attached to them, so this is you know, very ugly in its creation. Like, I don't know why I put these here, but I did, so. Hope that looks somewhat nicer. Maybe eventually we'll continue the road down this way. I'm not sure. Okay. About halfway through our current research. And that one's done, we then go for vocational training, start making paper. So if paper comes next, I'll be turning one of the lumber mills over, I think. You know, we're producing and consuming about the same amount of lumber each day. So then we have another lumber mill for paper making. Uh, this little buddy here, I feel bad stealing your trees away from you, your job with your last three trees, but... I think we're going to be putting our paper-making building there. Mm, lumber mill. Like so. And friends, it's time for our once-an-hour little ad break. So, hopefully you enjoyed the past hour of gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the little city that can, continuing to could. We'll pause right there for just three minutes, uh, go do the crossword, and then come back to our ongoing new new cycle playthrough. We are working on some old crosswords, working on some crosswords the past few weeks. This is a, a Monday puzzle from the middle of February. I'm going to figure it out. I must, I must, I must. All right, so wrap up. So wrapped up would be ended. Wrap up could be like enclosing something. Um, not your part of speech there. Answering machine. Trivia, bit. <laughs> trivia what, though? Huh. I think Star Trek ship is correct. Let's continue on, though, so we see then. Neighbor of Florine. Uh, is there a four-letter element with P as the beginning? The answer is probably no. And there's neon, of course. I think neon and fluorine are in current loca uh, cl uh, similar locations. They're both in the. Are they? Oh, maybe they're not. I believe that uh, uh, neon is one of the noble gases. It's actually in the upper right hand corner, I think. That would be Star Trek setting is S N. Not sure on that. Uh, common G Gen X label once. Slacker, you slackers. Uh, oppose is to naysay. See, anytime I get a week away or a couple weeks away from a crossword and then come back, things make so much more sense than ever before, which I have to say I absolutely love. Okay, wrap up. And fold. And fold. Good. Full body cast all over... Something. All over. <laughs> a cast can be a cast of um, 
like players, a cast of actors. A trivia buff is an answering machine. Star Trek setting. Oh, set, set phasers to stun. There we go. Um, full body cast, like cast like a hue, a tan. So engine filter, safe. Safe what? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll turn up. I think the fluorine is just the, like down left of neon on the periodic table. I might be wrong. I think it's the left of neon. In my high school aged vague memories of these all th of these things. The gall of that gal, how dare she looks good to me. Uh, upgrade from the studio is a one bedroom. Blank to Winter, the Three Musketeers antagonist. I know I've read this, I've forgotten though. Uh, short lived obsessions of mania. Uh, something worn while driving. A tire tread, you wear down your tires. Ha ha ha. Engine filter, your safe search to help you. Not have results you don't want to see. Safe search. Uh, Wilson, who voices the faces old woman who secretly lives in your home on Welcome to Night Vale. Is it Myra Wilson, possibly? I'm not sure on that. Where are the other downs here? Clicks a heart, for example. Um, likes. <laughs> What's this here? Uh, M M Milad? Miladi? Hmm. Uh, city whose stray dogs use the subway. Yeah, some of you have mentioned this before. It's a really cool thing, but I don't know who whose stray dogs use the subway. A fool, be an ass, obviously, uh, might be found around the house. I feel very good about one bedroom. Because usually it would be Eve is found around the house. Hmm. Part of Ampas, A-M-P-A-S. Arts, maybe? I have no idea what it is, though. Uh, string entered at checkout. Um, there's the UPC code. There's the banking card PIN. Um, there's the checkout line, the Q. Button that provides privacy is mute button. Buckle, perhaps. Buckle, perhaps. Can be to fold in. Could be um, to tighten or connect. Lend is spot, like spot me $5. Okay, good. Uh, good progress. We'll finish that next ad break, I believe. With the ad break done, hello. That's the wrong button, but good to see you. <laughs> With the ad break done, we'll return to our uh, news cycle for another hour or so. It's about 11.10 my time. Got at least two hours of stream left still. As we continue exploring what this game has for us. What it has for us is hopefully more citizens coming soon. Because until then, until then, until then... Uh, what is not working right now? I'm seeing all the numbers are up, 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 except for our stones. So what's consuming stones right now, I wonder? Hey, okay. Development completed. We can now make our kiln and our pits and so on and get some bricks going. But also, we can now research vocational training and get some craftsmen, some engineers to look after the harder work of the base. So... Let's get bricks going. Uh, bricks, let's, bricks, let's then make uh, brick houses. Higher tier of houses will be good. So, of resources, we have the pit. Excavation where stone, clay, and sand are dug up costs 300 electricity. We have 100 spare right now. Got to fix that. Hey, Phil, what's the new update? Anything significant? So, honestly, I have not pulled up the, uh, the update. I probably should have done that. True is actually new and different in it. I just started playing. Uh, one thing I've seen is there's now an early game health, um, an early game health event or health health item rather called herbal tea. The herbal tea is pretty nice for making people healthier before you get the um, infirmary so late in the game. But that's actually a sensible thing, isn't it? Let's go ahead and read the update. That's an okay way of spending stream time. Uh, let's see here. So this is going to be Steam uh, New Cycle. Hello, New Cycle. So part of the update is new languages. Is that 
Polish and Spanish, I believe. Something like that. Uh, where do we find data about the most recent update? Promising prospect update. Hey ho, everyone. This last month has been an intense period of development and expansion. We've been eagerly moving forward to ensure the new cycle universe is complete in all its components as soon as possible. We're now ready to launch the content detailed below for the next major update. With our multifaceted approach, we're working to ensure that the many mechanics and systems work together in harmony with a method by which every new piece will complement each existing component or form the base for new systems in the future. Thank you very much for your tremendous support in this process and every contribution you have patiently offered. We believe you'll recognize a lot of past feedback then addressed, especially under the headings of improvement and balance. First of all, Spanish and Polish. Hooray! Uh, new things to build. The apartment complex, the Tubul Cavern, Tubule Cavern, um, warehouse, small work hall, and the community kitchen. So we've seen the small work hall now. It lets us make leather from uh, raw hide. It also lets us make herbal tea. Uh, new and expanded, let's say approximately 1 million units per area, map alternatives to the existing approximately 360,000 units area, playable meadow variant. So you want you go a very, very large meadow to build in. Primarily a revamped terrain view and expansive playgrounds that are nearly four times larger and equally resource heavy for all mods. So I'm guessing if you want to keep building, 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 you can do that. A third level storage structure of the warehouse. The ultimate storage solution for advanced metropolitan areas with high storage capacity and a more industrial looking form. It consumes some extra energy to stack large containers. Third level kitchen, the community kitchen, and higher grade ration filling meal. The ultimate kitchen where mechanized communities can produce daily meals with a faster and mass production approach. It allows for much more output in less time with low product loss and high machine efficiency. Higher food morale output can be achieved with a new ration type filling meal currently available from two recipes. There's then a third level residential structure, the apartment, a new type of not so comfortable but sturdy housing for developing in developing and densely populated cities with several UI plugins for garbage generation. Oh no. <laughs> with, with UI plugins for garbage generation and related sub mechanics not yet active to be announced in future updates. So what's this update include? The warning that eventually you have to have trash to deal with. I look forward to burning the, um, burning the trash to make more power, hopefully. Uh, third level, customized mushroom production uh, facility, tubule cavern, a mostly underground tubular production facility designed as a, an artificial cave designed to feed a large population to counter natural mushroom resources depleting as time progresses. A labor costly structure with high energy requirements for humidity and heat management. Second level, cobblestone road with elevated road and electricity pylons and optional lighting. You can spend stone and iron to upgrade or rebuild existing roads for extra workforce efficiency and added aesthetics. Features a new utility pole system and street prompts. And then new early intermediate uh, building, the small work hall, where raw resources become unprocessed food items in the form of intermediate products. Unprocessed food? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's tanned leather and herbal tea. I don't know how it's unprocessed food items, but okay. We now have the herb, herbal tea, a new product that provides early health support by processing and translating raw material herb, which we collected from a natural source of the map or produced by agriculture and distributed via the tavern structure. The leather was replaced with raw hide. Tanned leather product added instead. Production trees like clothing and books were changed to use tanned leather instead of the old leather. And there's new stuff. Minimap changes, instant location change by clicking. Uh, left clicking on the any item on the main HUD will give a new management pa uh, panel. All detailed information is there. Draggable main UI elements. You can create a copy via pushing a left shift plus left mouse click. Move things more easily. More saving. You can production instruction and pause. Constructions are stopped by a player will now have available workforce automatically freed. That is so smart. Previously, if you pause workforce, the workers just hung out there waiting to be told to get to work again. <laughs> And more, more, more. Also, the basic mechanics of aging were added, which runs parallel to the population's game time equation 
and aims to simulate the normal course of life from adulthood to old age, which can result in natural death or incapacitation. Thanks to the presence of the old age mortality variable, birth and its influencing factor has been further balanced. And there's a lot more balance there. You can read about it. I should have begun today's stream by reading that, but didn't even think about it. As usual, I had the sense that I would uh, discover what was different by playing the game. I discovered some of it, but there's even more I could have learned about. There you go. There you go. All right. So we're saving up power to build our first pit. Each of these is another 100 or so power, so that'll be just enough power to build the pit. We should probably just continue building more windmills while we're thinking about it. So over here is almost no wind at all. Hmm. Down this way is a pretty decent amount also. Yeah, of course, Phil. Happy to go through it. Now that I know about some of the changes, I'm excited by them. Notably that uh, workers don't just wait in their job sites far too long. All right, we got one spare worker right now. Spare worker, what are you for? You might be the first person to work inside the pit, I suspect. Uh, we have enough power now to begin building the first pit. So it can go genuinely anywhere. I'll put it right in the middle here in this nice sandy area, I guess. Replacing the old stone collector with a brand new, ever deeper one. And probably the workers from here will move down then in a moment. Then need a kiln as well uh, to be in turning the pit production into bricks instead. How much does that cost? Mm, 145 electricity on top of that. All right. This is the part where I start making noises about, gosh, how nice would it be to have additional um, coal fire generators. We'll have the coal furnace eventually, just not quite yet. Hey, Styles, good seeing you. How's it going? Thanks for stopping in today. We are 77 days into our playthrough. I expect we're going to get to at least 100 today. I actually do not know how long the game goes, at what day things fall apart in a big way. I do see that we have more than enough power to uh, get up at least one kiln as well. So we'll do that now. And, I don't know, let's have you hang out in the middle here. Line of kills. All right. Um, we need both stone and clay, of course. So let's start with clay on this one. Put the one fellow down there. I'll then steal two stone workers from that and put them into clay as well. I'll need some workers to actually turn the clay into useful bricks. We need bricks for something. Some research, I believe. All right, so mine surveying requires both bricks as or sorry, uh, yeah, bricks as well as maps or not maps, paper rather. Paper comes from vocational training, which is almost done now. Weaving requires paper, so all hands on deck for paper pretty soon here. Soon, soon, soon. Hey, I am Dar. I am Dar. Thank you for the 70 months subscribing. 70 months. That's a, a whole bunch of months. <laughs> we are playing New Cycle. How's it going for you, my friend? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We have the technical boot camp. We can now make paper, thank goodness. So, I know that I built a, yes, new lumber mill to be in charge of paper making. I got no spare workers. Uh, I'm our new tech fun. You got it yesterday. Awesome. Yeah, I know it's on sale right now for, I think, 20% off. Um, it's a new update that made some nice balance changes that I like quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, it's good to see you. And I hope that you're enjoying the game as much as I am. We're completely full on rawhide. Uh, we could start turning that rawhide into normal leather. I need more people. <laughs> Don't you understand? I need more people. A message from the community. Chief, we need to prepare proper preparation to sustain our life here. One of the most important lessons the last 50 years has been we can't rely on the seasons to behave as we expect. 
The fickle atmosphere can breed hellish heat waves and freezing colds in any geography. This state has only worsened with time. It'd be foolish to expect to get better from here. We need to stock up essential needs at the very least on food and water. It'll help us cope with extreme seasonal cycles, as well as whatever else pushes us to desperation. We can't be ready for everything. We can at least try and secure our current well-being. 5,000 water, 1,200 meals, anything for you all. Hey, it's done. <laughs> Come on. It's already done. Check. Ch ch check. All right, there we go. In this way, if we have a lot of resources ready, we can deal with almost any distressing situation. You might recall, uh, you might recall that uh, many schools back in the 1960s and 50s, we loaded up with emergency uh, firebomb shelters, no, no, nuclear shelters, that's right. Uh, the middle school I went to in the 80s still had their old giant cartons of crackers. It was these huge boxes, all crackers, meant to keep the children alive in case uh, they had to go hide from the storms that came after nuclear bombing. That's how it goes. Uh, Garrett asks, is there any way you can let them know that Resorty sent you when you buy the game? Um, not that I know of. I appreciate the thought, definitely. But no, I don't have any kind of like special clickable code this time. Uh, if you want, you can send an email to... No, don't, don't do this. <laughs> but Garrett, I'm glad you're buying the game. I hope you enjoy it. But no, there's no way to indicate that I've sent you this time. But it's kind of you to get it anyway. Uh, so next building requires just paper no matter what. So we hold off for a bit and get to paper making. Uh, you are making paper slowly, 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 but it's getting started. We've grown fast, Chief. Knowledge will gain more and more importance as we keep growing. As a community, we need ways to produce and share knowledge more effectively. Our first step in these efforts was to start producing paper. We'll never forget again. Never ever forget again, only getting more and more things written down. You'll recall Socrates' argument about this, though. Socrates said if we write things down, we will forget them, and our minds become less sharp. That's right, people were complaining about new media all the way back then, too. <laughs> it's a dry summer. It's a dry summer for us, friends, which means that um, we're going to have less water production, I believe and something else will happen, all of it unfortunate. Is that right, less water? Well, we're totally full on water. We cannot make any more water if we tried. Has someone talked about an affiliate link? For this game, no, no. Some games, um, when they have me set up a, um, a sponsored stream, they give me a link and say like, hey, please put this inside of your, uh, inside of your uh, channel so we know how people click through because you're playing it. This time they didn't ask for that, so I don't have one, but glad some people are liking the game anyway. Strange lights above. Chief, it's like the stories of the first day, even the night losing its darkness. For a few days now, the sun has been shining brighter and stronger. Today is the seventh day of these events, and if our guesses and stories are correct, we're about to experience the same scenario one more time. Nothing to do but wait and watch. The sun is going to kill us all. Shield your eyes, friends. Shield your eyes. Oh. Pretty cool looking if you're not there. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, luckily, not everything caught on fire. We saw it with our own eyes. Half a century later, the same disaster is upon us again. We're not as fragile as the modern world that faced the first one, but we're sure it will do nothing but harm. When and how, only time will tell. There's nothing to fear, but fear itself and the sun. Those are things to fear for sure. Hey, Power Pro, good seeing you. New cycle is a lot of fun. I absolutely agree. I do, Power Pro. Uh, so, because of uh, our water being totally maxed out for right now, we could set up additional stockpile zone space for it and just have more for the future. Shift left mouth to get 500 at a time. Let's go to 15,000 refine folks. 
I'm doing well, Power. Thank you for asking. Be a nice stream so far. I guess any stream I gotta hang out with you all is nice. Aww. Aww. <laughs> uh, as of right now, our lumber is coming in uh, more than we're spending it. So I'm gonna move a couple of lumber workers over to the lumber mill that's making more paper as the current big mission. And 11 children born. And you stop bearing children and instead help them to grow up. I'd love to see how uh, how many of these kids are about to grow up. Just a nice kind of anticipation, a kind of hope possibly, instead of just waiting and wondering. The summer, the summer. Travelers, hey, come along travelers. I'd like to invite you to join my home. So while I'm thinking about more people joining us, I'm gonna go ahead and make additional houses. I don't believe the houses go bad, even, even if not attended to right away. Some buildings, if you don't turn them on right away, cause problems. These ones, though, I think will be fine. Just sitting kind of empty. Yeah, over here we see some empty ones that are not complaining at all about their emptiness. So last time we had 15 people join us. This time I'm hoping for, I don't know, 80. <laughs> I want to have more immigrants than we have people who started here. Just bring me labor. Cheap labor, yes please. <laughs> I suddenly understand so much more about international affairs than ever before. <laughs> are you the laborers? Are, are you? Mm. Like as they run around, especially at higher speeds, marching to quick like. Hey, it's a merchant also. This thing is complaining it cannot have any more herbal tea. Well, again, it's herbs, herbal tea. Go up to a thousand on that, I guess. 1500, even better. Travelers are here. They want to join me. How many? Only 14. Oh, it's great, though. Look at them. So many workers, finally. Uh, we have full team on paper, finally. We want a full team on all the cooking jobs. That's good to go. Full team on. Making bricks, finally. Fantastic. Still seven more. I think I'm going to make a second pit uh, for stone. And then everyone's getting thrown in the pit. That's definitely their contribution here. So, uh, resources. Pit number two. Everyone... I see our power is going to get low after that next building is built, so let's continue adding additional windmills. Looks pretty strong on this side. That will help. Okay. So once we have the um, new pit built, we're then going to start tearing down the old stone camps. I think, I think, I think. And some of you will begin working on leather. It's not clear to me we actually need leather, but we will at some point. On paper, we have 196. How much do we need for our first bit of research here? 420, I believe, is first. Also, we can now make our engineer research building. Not that we actually need this yet, but there it is. The technical boot camp educates people. Little church looking thing. Perfect. All right, stone cutter, come with me. Other iron looking. We have lots of iron ore coming in still. Cool. Windmills. Coming up now. Other pits ready to go, almost. We'll sit and watch this one. Cool. This is stone then. We have a few workers for now. And anybody who's just getting stone, I want to demolish. Uh, we're looking for a gathering camp to use to look through. This one here is not just stone. This one 
is just stone, but it could be wood also pretty easily. So we'll add some woodworkers. Was oh, that all? Just these three here? Cool. So two more workers. Um, we don't need bricks quite yet, but eventually we'll need quite a few of them. So we're pr producing nine clay a day right now and consuming 13 a day. So we'll kick up a little bit more to 13, 13. That's better. And then we are burning through our lumber very quickly. I think that's just because of some pits I throw. I think the pits require lumber to make. I think we're okay. All right. Chief, we've accumulated a massive pool of know-how, but it remains largely undirected and unrealized. We need to train individuals with more advanced knowledge and practical experience in certain fields. These people will take on specialized tasks rather than odd jobs. We'll put them in charge of buildings wherein they can put their expertise to use. As a natural consequence of this, their needs will be different from the rest. Go on. The specialization of labor. What, what, what? We should begin training craftsmen as soon as we can. We need to set some standards, like separating various fields of work and establishing necessary qualifications. I got licenses, I got licensing fees, I got inspectors, I got inspection fees. We'll start planning the training roadmap as soon as you announce the new regulation. So we could say the new world needs new training systems. Craftsman training times are halved. Worker to craftsman training success rate is increased needs more power tools and the workers work less well and greater chance of workplace accidents, or uh, it's slower to, craft, uh, to train them, but they're more efficient, less injury, etc. We'll do things the quote unquote right way, I suppose. Intensified craftsman training, our future to built by competent hands. Everything's happening all at once, so Papers and essential resource for realizing new development. We must not forget to keep sufficient stock. We have it ready now. And then, for several generations before our time, independent individuals have been organized and stable enough to devote their lives to developing practical expertise in a subject. This was unimaginable in such a world until now. We've shown enough patience and resilience to make it possible. Craftsmen will shape our community with their skills and experience and help us move more confidently into the unknown. They can make special contributions that exceed our former expectations, especially when their needs are satisfied. All right, Craftsmen now coming with a lifetime money back guarantee. That's good. How long the society grows a bourgeoisie? So one of the first decisions you make in the game is um, are workers allowed to barter away their food in exchange for fewer hours of work? And we said no to that, squashing the market in its insipid. No market allowed. <laughs> so uh, we will have uh, higher level trained people, but they may not exchange anything between them. They are different only in knowledge, not in economic class. <laughs> Hopefully. Let us interpret the lights. We're sure it was a solar flare. What little information we have from half a century ago is barely of use to us. All the sources, traces, and our current state suggest a second wave of catastrophe awaits us too. We may not have much to lose right now, but this will determine the fate of future generations. Tell me more, tell me more. We think our technological assets are too primitive to be affected by a solar storm. However, we don't know what the impact on the planet, climate cycles, atmospheric structure would be. In short, we can't say how life on Earth will be affected for another solar storm. One cannot build a settled life and community based on good intentions and guesses. Whoa, 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 how dare you call out my civil engineering practices? I hope for the best, surely it will work. Instead, we must make sense of what's happening and what could happen by regularly observing changes in our environment, especially in the atmosphere. All right, Captain Science, what do you want? We ask you to assemble a task force to carry out these duties and give them the necessary time and equipment. It's the least we can do. So, over the next two years here, we're gonna have science people doing science people work. We'd have bronze ingots and glass and, and, and allow them to figure out what's going on in the atmosphere. I don't know, it's kind of gloomy. Good old science guy. 
Okay, we have one free worker still. We don't need a craftsman yet, but we will at some point. So I will make him a craftsman for now. And we have enough paper now. One second. We did have enough paper. I can't cancel my trading, unfortunately. So we had the paper we needed for next research, but this man stole it. Is now like writing down all of his crazy ideas about the world. Also, we have no lumber at all. Why? Why do we have no lumber at all? Hmm. Am I consuming? I have no idea. It's all very confusing. Uh, I see that we have tons of food. So I'm going to strip one chef from each of the cooking spots and move them all over to helping with lumber production. We shouldn't be out entirely. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, on stone... We're making 18, but consuming only four. I'm gonna bring some stone masons out then. We have so much food. Again, good into the winter, it's fine. It's the autumn. Six new children became adults. Got some more workers, thank goodness. Training complete. Our first ever year of schooling is done. This man succeeded. He is now a craftsman. And a merchant's here. Hello, merchant. The merchant wants to buy my basic tools. Will sell me meat and raw hide and fish. For now, nothing, thank you. Uh, so many workers, fantastic. So, we're gonna get full leather guy. I probably need even more paper. But, right now, just more wood again. And we can refill the previously stripped cook's jobs. My uh, paper has not shown up here. I'm gonna change over to paper so we can see it coming in. We have six to eight. That's enough for next research then. So we'll learn about cultivation. All civilizations are founded on the soil that helps us order our lives. We don't know how stable we can be with the atmosphere itself out of ba balance. We have to trust in the cycle of reaping and sowing. Unlocks the farm building. That's right, the soil is our mother. That's why we care about this soil as opposed to the soil over there. Because this one made us us. Right, so we're stockpiling leather now. At some point soon, we'll be able to make clothes. Are clothes part of this research era? It is. The weaving. Make a tailor and a clothes building. So in the last patch, at least, uh, tailors required at least one craftsman, I believe. Or maybe it would want their craftsman didn't require one outrightly. We can mine now or no? No. Mining is the mine surveying. For that, we need a ton more paper, but 900 more. So the wait for paper continues. Seems nicely in order, though. A fine little, what should we call it? Is it, is it a hamlet? Is it a village? Is it risen to the peaks of a city? No, this is a commune. It's the commune. Come now. <laughs> Come now. Of course it's a commune. <laughs> All right. Development completed. We have the Yard of Kale. We can begin planting vegetables. That would be a very nice thing. I believe kale making leads to a higher tier food eventually. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, your mushrooms, your meat. We'll have you go to meat also. Are we communists? I mean... Communist meaning people who live on a commune, I guess. I don't know. That meat sure is red, isn't it? See a lot of red here. Not sure about it. Uh, let's find the place most fertile for our kale yard to go. So, out here is four fertility. Do you see anywhere greener than that? Yeah. Two to four fertility. Out this way. So far. Just keep going. Only two or so. Uh, this way, uh, middle of the beautiful forest, might be time to fell some trees. Yeah, let's go take this area here as our starting farming area. So we'll run a road straight through. Lovely. And throw up a couple of these kill yards. Gotta eat your veggies. 
A Vegeta Day keeps the capitalist away. It's all just three in there or so. Four on this side. Okay. I'll throw up two of them for now. I believe let's consume water to make additional uh, veggies. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Ah, we're waiting though for even more population. The current mission is to get uh, 15 more people. We might get another group of travelers in a year or so. Just waiting for the kiddos to grow up. Come on, children! There's 60 of you working on your grip strength that you may be able to pick up the hammer and the plow. Alright, I can have another worker working on tools. We got so many tools coming in. Way more than we need. Way, way more. Our, our first five-year plan? I already got it. Our first five-year plan is give me more children. Population's what's holding me back right now. If you just make more kids, it would all be fine. Alright, killer number one. The vegetables. Hooray! Um, we can also grow herbs. What do herbs need to grow? They require clay. So clay plus water is herbs. Now let us pull the herb workers off of the other uh, other herbal areas. Which I think are here. Uh, it's not there. Uh, there are three herb people there. We only have three herbalists right now. One, two, three. Okay. You're then going to move... Wait, I think if we click on the mini-map, I was told. Wait, where's the mini-map anyway? Here it is. Oh, it's so nice. Ah, this was added in this patch, and I love it. I keep forgetting about it, but the number of times I first played this game, we're like, okay, we're working in the mine here. Wait, I need the other mine. It's over there. Oh, the slow march across the map. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Now you can just click on the on the uh, map and move around. It's so much nicer. Right. Um, right, we're heading back to the Kale Yards then, which were over this way, I think. The mini-map works well if you remember where you're going. All right, here we go. So two of y'all into herbs. Then herbs require clay, so we have to kick up our clay production one little bit. Into the pits, into the pit. He zoomed the map. You can go back or in if you want. This is as far in as you can go. You can go back quite a bit. If you want to, you can put it right in the middle. And so you have a map that overlays the map. Maps all the way down. Kind of cool. We've reached a new, new cycle. All right, cycle four. Farms and residences, wind turbines, storehouses, guard houses. I heard what you said. The leader's not like that. Smelters, maintenance buildings, and water pumps. This is all the bits you need for getting more electricity produced and consumed all at once. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, to upgrade these requires what? Something I don't have. <laughs> so what's required for the upgraded version of the windmill? The tier two. I have research first, of course. Learning about things is not enough to actually build them. You have to research the vague idea. Someone said, oh yeah, I once saw, you know, mm, a larger windmill. Said, ah, sure you did, buddy. Sure you did. Alright, I'd like to go close next. A new, new cycle. Like that character in, um, in League of Legends. Nunu and Willem, I believe. Happy winter, everybody! Happy winter! So here in the winter, the farming stops. It means the kill yards don't do anything, correct? Yes, negative 130 efficiency. So we'll steal the workers back. And where's a nice warm place to keep them all throughout the winter? Oh, it's the pit! Hello, pit! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, nine new children born. Great. One hundred sixty-two paper. That really is what's holding us back from fast research right now. But something done currently. This is what winter number four. What year is it? <laughs> How old am I anyway? Year three actually. So third year's ending. We can now make clothes. 
They were entirely naked until this point. Time for some clothing to hide their shame. Uh, surveillance is next. We have to have about 140 more paper. Earth is not dead yet. The air around us may hold gifts from the old world. New gains, mysteries, peoples, and tend to wrestle us. Unlock the Scout, Gal Gu <laughs> Scout Guild building. And then uh, get access to the uh, world map. It's going to be great. Alright, I would like to make some clothes, please. Bring me the weavery. 170 electricity is basically all of our spare right now. So, I'll put you out here. And I'll build another one of the windmills. Who's this? It's Hunter, carrying a, uh, a stag on its back. Its back? Sorry, their back, I suppose. So eventually we'll be able to upgrade all of these uh, windmills, but for the moment I'm okay just adding a few more in. Maybe we should look for other areas to put them eventually. For now, just pile up more and more there. Okay, so we have our tailor right here. Having clothes make people even happier, I believe. Look at him work. Look at him work. So we're going to act as fast as they possibly can. Yeah, it looks absolutely reasonable at this speed. As they slowly swing their arm, building up those biceps with every swing. Speed two, speed three, absolute silliness. <laughs> Suddenly, a beautiful building with vats of chemicals sure to give us terrible diseases, but we don't know about that yet. Medicine's a joke. Uh, we have a worker. We need at least one cra or one uh, normal worker to work on that job. So I threw people in the pit. I will now take a few of them out of the pits, move them instead to making us clothes. Uh, 17 clothes a day, great. So the normal workers need seven of them a day currently. If I got a regular distribution, they require 10 per day. Go to the craftsmen, I want to give them normal water and normal food also. Perhaps may be happier with much, much better food and so on, but for right now, I got nothing for you. You're just workers with fancy glasses. I do like the graphics very much, though. The fine welder has no welding tools. The fine worker there with her basket of lovelies. Needs more health and more security. She's also cranky about not having clothes. They're being made right now, so she will get those clothes before too long. Oh, we'll go top speed for a moment, because there's really not much to do until we get additional workers. Uh, mushroom piles going down. Um, I don't believe we have anyone gathering mushrooms right now. They've gone only over to meat, and our water's totally full again. So once more, I'd like them to be able to have more water saved up. Please and thank you. I think going to 20,000 possibly. Sure. There's still about uh, 18,000 free space. We can always build more of these utility platforms. Uh, is it actually true that I have no one gathering mushrooms currently? Oh, there are three people doing so. Mushroom friends. Come back, please. Uh, what to do with them then? A vital suggestion. Chief! We need people to sustain what we've built. We can't keep relying on stray travelers finding us or scouts stumbling upon small settlements. We have a proposal to systematize our growth. I'm listening. We can form small envoys and send them off in certain directions. Hopefully some of them will discover communities who are unaware of our existence and are willing to join us. It'd be a good idea to give these envoys some of our best crafted products. A freshly sealed can of food, a shiny new hammer, or spotlessly clean outfit will help persuade and uplift people who have known nothing but deprivation. You can use this initiative as a periodic action if you'd like, sending envoys to look for more settlers. Absolutely. Come to our workers' utopia, ye many. There's place for you. There's labor. There's happiness. There's an overarching sense of goodness, I swear. All right. Spread the word. That's good. That's good. 
The year ends. This year, nobody died from disease, disaster, lack of water or food. People joined us. We got more water, got more food. Everything is good. Welcome then to year four. The spring has sprung once more. Farming may resume. Hey, welcome back, waifus. You guys disappeared because you had two assignments to do tonight. Hurriedly finished them. Are you my students? <laughs> no, but really, are are you are you my students? You might be my students. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, 13 children became adults. I was just looking to steal people from the pit to put here, but no, no, no. Kiddos with your fully grown beards get to work. Uh, so we have veggies and herbs coming in now. And we have eight people we can send back out onto herb gathering. Yeah, the other night, I uh, woke up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, and I pulled up my, my email and uh, saw that I had a student who'd emailed me at like 3.14 a.m. with a question about uh, about class. I told her I appreciate her, but she should probably sleep more. <laughs> yeah, it, feels, it feels a little strange to keep someone up until 3 a.m. doing homework. Now, I'm not sure if she's someone who, who prefers working at night, but I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like a little much to me. All right, more people in the pits. I'll spend a moment now evaluating what's being used and what's not. Uh, we have two little clay currently. So clay production is 28 per day. It's being consumed at 16 per day, plus the consumption on the kill yard. So three. Now, is that three per day or three per cycle? I think that's three per, per cycle. So our clay is being overconsumed right now for herbs. Is way past 3.14 a.m. where you are? Oh, no, no. If you want to stay up and watch video games, fine. Just, if you want to, like, if you end up staying up on a, I think it was a Friday or Saturday night to 3.14 a.m. doing work. Now, maybe she got home late from partying, 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 and decided it would be a good idea to do some schoolwork as she uh, headed towards sleep. That's fine. I don't want to tell my students how to live their lives, of course. If they want to do schoolwork in the middle of the night, cool. It's just... I don't know. It seems like a, a not a great way to spend one's uh, one's young years. It's not the path I chose. Except when I had to um, have papers due in the next day, and I was depressed, kid, and so didn't start on them until 11 p.m. the night before. And I'd get my coffee and just type and type and type and hope for the best. It was uh, it was a good time. It was a real good time. <laughs> I'm so glad that era is over. <laughs> We're now in the responsible adult plays video games all day portion of life instead of the very sad young man tries hard to pass classes but does very little work for them. <laughs> hey, network goes. This game is called um, this game is called New Cycle. It's uh, been out now for I don't know six months maybe five months. Got a big update earlier today or earlier this week rather, and it's on sale over on Steam for twenty percent off. It's pretty nice. We need four more people, four more adults, and we'll hit our population goal. Got to learn about glass and such next also. Uh, okay, we can unlock the world map or mining. World map takes fewer workers. I'll take that and then mining once we have more people to throw into those mines too. I know the one second. I apologize. I was about to say something else, but someone called nine one one. It's all burning down. That's terrible. This building is on fire. We must prevent the fire from irreversibly damaging the building and spreading to others. However, to reduce the workforce, make them put out the fire. Let's do a balance res uh, response. For three days, we begin fighting the fire. There they go. Take some workers away from their normal jobs, though. So they have these giant buckets. And some kind of turning wheel. And that turning wheel causes pressure? Oh, I see. There's a, a pump going up and down inside. A second building's on fire. Not my kitchens. Not my kitchens. Please stop this. Uh, I, I told them that the people's flag was red. They said, you know what else is red? Fire's red. And attempted to burn down the whole city. Good try, folks. Good try. 
So I'm not allowed to remove the workers from that work spot. I don't know if they're also the ones fighting the fire. Or if they're literally burning to death right now. <laughs> Just not knowing. Just not knowing. Oh, you know what? They're actually available here, I believe. They now have eight free. I don't know where else I would have gotten them. Whichever way, we watch it putting out, hopefully. All my precious water. Hey, we have the Scouts Guild now. Cool. So Scouts Guild is used for exploring the world map. I think it's a miscellaneous building. It's not. It is a utility instead. It's with 85 power. We have enough power right now. So, put the Scouts Guild away from the fire. <laughs> out here by the tailoring company. What allegedly started the Great Fire of London? Does anyone know for sure what started the Great Fire of London? Because the Chicago Fire is uh, regarded to have been started when a cow belonging to a woman named Mrs. O'Leary kicked over a lantern. There's a song about this I learned in my youth as I lived near to Chicago. This building was destroyed by fire and is not reparable. Two workers have died. We'll rebuild it. Bigger, better, stronger than before. There were some great fires here in Tokyo also. Uh, one set of them happened after a, uh, uh, after a major earthquake. Um, so at night, um, as sun's going down, we will often hear in the streets of many Japanese cities the sound of some people um, clapping together wooden sticks, like thunk, that kind of sound. Um, and this has two functions, or three functions, I guess. Maybe four functions. One, it gives old people something to do. Nice. Uh, two, it's like a neighborhood watch community activity where people often come together and um, you know walk through the neighborhood together and see what's happening and so on. Um, three, it's meant to like draw the attention of the spirits. Always useful. And four, it's a reminder to make sure your exposed flames are put out as night comes. Uh, so you're not going to leave the kitchen fire on all day. Apparently it was started back after the um, the great uh, earthquake in the uh, what 1920s, I believe, here in, in, Yoko in uh, Yokohama, uh, up through Tokyo. It was tremendously disastrous. And then uh, many other um, rebuilt buildings of historical importance have signs on them that say there were also fires in Tokyo in the 1940s. And they don't say what those fires are or why they existed, just... There were fires in the 1940s, so feel free to imagine that however you want to. Who knows what happens? Occasionally, there are just fires. Just some fires. Uh, apparently, a spark from the oven on Pudding Street started the Great Fire of London in 1666. What is Pudding Street? Well, that's, that's a great name of what that is, for sure. Uh, eight children become adults here in the summer now. Great. Uh, one second. You're using meat. You're damaging the fire. You're using meat. This one then uses mushrooms. Good. Everything's on schedule. We've become a community to be admired in this broken world. Needs will diversify. Production increase. And will bring people together and grow. One nation under Riz. The future wish to build seems closer and more real than ever. Population over 100. Nice. Oh, I forgot to mention part of my story of the barber. I told you earlier I went and got a haircut yesterday. Great fun. Glad to have done it. As I was leaving, it was so uh, unbelievably raining outside. When I arrived, there was no rain. As I was leaving, there was rain. And my barber tried to force me to take an umbrella with me, like one of his umbrellas. <laughs> it was such a nice gesture. Um, it's very common in Japan to have extra umbrellas uh, to uh, make sure you have one at your workplace, one at your home, one here, one there. Uh, so you're never caught without an umbrella. But, you know, my barber was like, umbrella, umbrella does. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And I finally had to tell him I'm American, and then he laughed. Uh, apparently, uh, Americans have a much higher tolerance for being out in the rain. And so if you see someone on a rainy day in Japan, not with an umbrella or with no umbrella, it's almost certainly an American. <laughs> so that's what's going on here. Friends, it's time to have some scout teams. Time to go check out 
the world. Welcome, friends, to the other version of the game. The world map. So this is our camp here. Let's go explore the highlands. Group one goes that way. Let's also go explore the valley, the lowlands. Yeah, very nice by Barber to look out for me that way. Very, very kind. Uh, we're completely full of tools right now. And so we can increase the tool distribution to make people a little happier. Interesting to live in a place where umbrellas do something other than catch wind and break. That does happen here at times also. <laughs> like definitely at times we end up with uh, broken umbrellas. Um, also, they use umbrellas for snow. And that's uh, something I never saw in the US. Uh, when we just like put a hood on uh, with one's coat and you know, bundle your way through the snow. Here in Japan though, or at least in Tokyo, they use umbrellas for snow. Uh, even fairly heavy, like sloppy snow umbrellas anyway. Uh, more research, more good. Last one for now is learning how to mine. Uh, we have nine workers ready to go in the pit the moment it comes into existence. In preparation, learn how to get some stone. Good. You've honestly never used an umbrella as an American. So I'm guessing you don't live somewhere rainy or are you someone who like dashes over to the car and then dashes into the house and so on? Um... Because, yeah, I've definitely enjoyed using umbrellas, especially here in Tokyo, where you have fairly long walks. Um, they're not really driving at all. So you use the umbrella to get to the train, and then on the train you're inside, and then you get off the train and use the umbrella again, which is definitely different than American car culture. I feel like I must have unlocked something to go build, <laughs> but I don't remember anything right now. Uh, I, I guess we can just continue building additional water. More water, more good, always, always, always. Mm. Okay, so this road will continue along. Like so. Beautiful. Then is that close enough to the... Only close to one of them, unfortunately. So I'll put out front there and then build across. Uh, those of you who are not from the U.S. but speak English, is it true that you call umbrellas things like bumper shoots? Is that an actual word that's come out of your mouth at some point? Let me go get my bumper shoot. <laughs> is that how you talk? Uh, that might be how you talk. <laughs> and perambulator and so on. Oh, it's great. Hmm. Odd for you, uh, umbrellas are a hard way to hassle to keep your head and shoulders dry. You can get larger and larger umbrellas. You get larger umbrellas. My, my boss has a golf umbrella. It's this absolutely monstrous thing that he holds and seems to control absolutely everything. I think the word bumper shoot means umbrella. I just need some British person to tell me that's true. I think it's true. I'm not making fun of your people. I just find it delightful. Good now you heard? Okay, one second. Hello, friends. It's time to do Google things. An umbrella. It's actually American. It's actually American. I apologize. I thought it was British, but no. Uh, bumper shoot apparently is a combination of umbrella and parachute. Bumper shoot. Brella. Parachute. Brachute. Ah! I either modified Google very quickly or it's true. And look at this. Like, it was actually very popular in the late 19th century. But look at us nerds these days, like, yeah, I'm so twee, let me talk about bumper shoots. It's almost certainly that um, this is just Ngram has more data to work with later, but there you go. Now you know a word to work with. Go impress your friends. Speaking of impressing your friends, it's been another hour of video game, so it's time to uh, finish up this Crawford puzzle. We'll get back to our new cycle in just a moment. We're at the very end here, so can we finish it? Flavor enhancer. Flavor enhancer. Uh, smell help make flavor better, I suppose. Uh, ends an engagement. Um, leaves. Breaks up. Throws a ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still do not know the name of the person from Thermos Tears. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Bye. <laughs> uh. Uh, clicks a heart, for example. A 
I'm trying to think of what heart clicking do I know of other than like to like something or love something. Is it like respond to? I click a heart is an S word probably. So I'm gonna say smell is correct here. Short folks, <laughs> short folks. So to short someone is to rip them off. A person who's short might be um, like unable to pay their debts possibly. Not sure. Fool. Fool. Trick. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. We've been on this one a very long time, friends, so what do you know? What do you know about this one? Please help. P please save me. Please help. Who is the antagonist in Thrust Tears? What does it to click a heart say? Uh... What is a string entered at checkout? A yard from the house. Of course, is, is it just Milady? Milady de Winter? I didn't realize it was a. I mean, is it Milady like uh, a woman? Or is it a man named Milady? I thought it was a guy. Yard's very good though, thank you. Clicks a heart. Re. Uh... <laughs> Fool. Dolt, possibly. Which means smells wrong. React. That's very smart. Thank you. React is very smart for heart clicking. String enter at checkout. Coupon code. Coupon code. Good, 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 good. Buckle, perhaps. So fool is to dupe someone. Short folks. Short folks. Pa pal? Po pol? Peel? Paul? <laughs> Alright. City whose stray dogs use the subway. I know that someone knows who that this is. City with an SC in the middle. Mm. It's in Moscow. Smart, thank you. So I thought this could be Myra Wilson. Or Mira Wilson. On Welcome Night Vale. I put Myra in. We'll see if that's right in a moment. Now you've done it. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Myra's probably wrong. Mara Wilson, thank you. I know that. Um, bad move. Nice. Make partner. So, make partner. Make partner. So it could be make and or and make. Um, it could also be like make someone into a partner, like ask them to marry you, to invite in. To model? Wait, why model? Make, oh wait, what's the make and model of that car? That's good, thank you. So callers instead of call-ins. Topple over is buckle. Ah, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. This is outrageous. This one right here, short folks is pibble. <laughs> pibble, <laughs> it's the word people, but shortened. All right, very good, very good. Thanks for the help. Just need a little push, and we solved it. You all are absolute heroes. Well done, and thank you for your assistance as always. With that, we have nothing at all left in the old crossword queue. There are definitely some from a year ago that I've not done yet, or year plus, uh, but they're all done. Tomorrow will be a new one, of course. That means, well, never mind. Let's say that means the rest of today's ad breaks should be used to play backpack battles, but there are no more ad breaks, unfortunately. There's just going and teaching, unfortunately. But thanks for still being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, I'll be live for about another hour or so, enjoying the last bit of our new cycling. I need to stop restarting this game, though. Whenever I come back to it, I find myself feeling like, oh man, there's a lot I should have done here. I never get quite far enough to see the late game content. So I may have to save it in the future. All right, saving please wait. Good job, you. Good job. No backpack battles? What? what? I know. I Like I said, I did play it um, about five minutes before stream started today. So I got my fix, but I couldn't share with you all what I had done. I have uh, four characters at Platinum now and one at Silver because <laughs> I just don't want to play as the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is so, so boring to me. That was strange. The tailor was saying it was not on a row, but it clearly is. Mm, no idea. Let's look for more water.
Let's find more water. It's not being siphoned off yet. That's all been fetched. Uh, out here, not touched yet. You're touched. You are not. Good. Yeah, I'm actually kind of thinking. I, I don't necessarily mean this. So don't hold this against me. It's not true. I've been thinking of maybe uh, having our Saturday game become Backpack Battles for a while. I don't know. I've been starting to have a different stream on Saturday than the rest of the week. Though I do enjoy playing my strategy and simulation games like usual. I also like just hanging out and playing whatever comes to mind. And we did 60 seconds recently, which is fun. And we actually beat uh, one round of 60 seconds, but I'm not sure what replayability it has after a certain point. Uh, there's the other game called 60 Parsecs that came out um, more recently than 60 seconds. We could try that one next Saturday. We'll see. It's only a Monday. Lots of stream between now and then. All right, we are so full on almost everything. Um, cannot wa wait to start making the iron mines. Iron mines are going to be huge, 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 huge. So we can actually get our iron scrapers into the ground instead. And I'm seeing zero production of iron ore. Is that actually true? Yeah, the iron miners here have no additional iron. So we're going to destroy their job also. And then I'm going to move... Um, one of the gathering locations deeper into the forest. Make sure we get lots, lots of wood. So, right here is fine. I'm going to wait till that's made so I don't forget about it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Ah, uh, we can now make mines. Thank goodness. Please, someone show up. It's right there. It's right in the middle of the base. There we go. So, just woodworkers for now. And now we can begin doing some surveying for mining. So, I believe you have to pull up the mine, and then you can see where there are possible locations of ore. The three here seem pretty plausible. Now, however, good night. They're hanging out. So, in this location, we can touch all of them in the middle. I'm going to trust that one of these two left ones is interesting and valuable. Sure. Now, we are going to need another um, craftsman to run the mine. It might even be two of them, actually. So let me head to middle base. Doop. And have a class of two workers get to it. Study hard. Better not waste my materials. And then all this is done. Welcome, then, to cycle four, moving forward. So we have to do stable roots first. Um, stable Roots allows you to make maintenance buildings. Professional construction team providing regular building maintenance and repair services. We need 950 wood to get there. Or we can do insulated furnaces first and make copper ingots and bronze ingots if we can find tin, of course. We'll do that now. A hey, poker face, thanks for the follow. Wait, I don't think follows anymore. Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. <laughs> I always forget to not thank follows these days, but thanks for the follow. <laughs> A message from the community. Chief, we now know enough to build our first mining facilities. In order to access the rich resources under the surface, we need to position the facilities carefully and begin digging mine shafts to reach whatever we can reach below the surface. Only once the shaft has been dug can we say for certain what minerals we can find in an area and how much of them. Ore veins are usually found on mountain slopes or in rocky areas. After selecting a mine building, you can view potential ore veins by navigating close to the areas of the map. Let's get our picks axes ready. And then mutualism. Animals were close friends to our ancestors. In the first moments of our civilization's ends, they were the first to be abandoned. After a while, they started to be used as sources of meat. This hunter-prey relationship, which has lasted for half a century, can now change. Now we have enough resources and our children are growing up in a world where sharing is once again an option. Our growing welfare attracts stray cats and dogs to our settlement. People end up adopting them and having them as pets, even if they don't initially intend to. It would be best to encourage this. So you could say we're sheltered for every living thing. Rations per capita increase by 20%. People are happy. Or we have all we need for ourselves. Excess, excess resource consumption, risk of lice, fleas, diseases, and avoidable injuries. 
Uh, we're gonna share with the dogs. Good guy resorty continues. And a merchant's here. Hello, merchant. You wish to sell me tools or iron ingots or iron ore. We have so many iron ingots. I'm gonna keep my things, thank you. Someday he'll bring me something useful. I cannot wait for that day. <laughs> It'll be a very good day for sure. All right, mine number one getting made. We then start looking into the deposits beneath the ground and see which of them is worth mining first. Because each mine has to focus on just one of the mine shafts. I'm still curious what there is on each of them. And there's a third one over here, I believe. Let's we'll build another miner for that eventually. A group of travelers on the road. All right, so uh, 5, 10, 15, 150 people, plus 3, 180 people you can hold currently. Hello, travelers! Eight of them wish to join us. The smallest group in a long time. I need some miners. We got some miners now. And how's the training going? I'm about halfway done there. How's the mine going? About done now. We've launched a simple mining facility and begun working on our first mineral deposit. Now we need to find new deposits and begin structural investments to ramp up production. Also, on the world map, someone has scouted a valley. A large area that looks empty and untouched. Except for a few ruins of buildings from long ago, there's nothing to see. The few woods may harbor small prey, and judging by the weedy ground, water can be found without going too deep below the surface. We get meat, we get logs, we get water if we build up in that area. So I will do that building of the valley building just to keep an eye on this area for ourselves. You need to have um, canned food to take good care of the world map. We're well ahead of that, of course. Right, coal's available. I actually don't need coal yet, but good to know there is coal if we want it. This one's copper. Let's start getting some copper now. I do still need to find iron, though, as we are nearly out of iron. Uh, or we have tons of ingots. We have to find an iron uh, vein at some point soon. Okay. So copper's happening now. We'll then add another mine to help us find the other spot there. Training complete. Both people were trained successfully. We have three craftsmen class now. And the scouts arrive to the highland, vast plains of grass and rocky ground, leading to steep slopes rising to the sky. With a hint of a mountain range ahead, these lands may have abundant resources with ample rainfall. Lots of good resources there. We can build a watchtower too to keep an eye on people passing by. Uh, in one day's time, my envoy will return from their journey abroad, and we can have the envoy's people immediately get to work in the other mine. <laughs> I know I talked about building a second mine, but didn't do so quite yet. So we'll do that now to see what's in that one, especially. We're back, Chief. It's been a long and tiring journey. We're able to return safely with new fellows from two different settlements. Some of them have talents that will help us. We got ourselves six more workers and one more craftsman. Also, 39 children became adults. I think that's the first giant pile. So just like that, we have 45 free workers. <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'll take care of the mine very soon here, I do believe. We can start looking at this mineral deposit. Again, hoping for iron ore there. So what do I do with all of you all? There's too many of you, in fact. How do I care for all of you? Uh, the forge says that we need more iron ore. Yeah, we're we'll working on that, I promise. We've never had so many unemployed people. We can really ramp a bunch of stuff here very quickly. Uh, this is iron ore. We will mine that next. We'll get the coal mining going also. Also, 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 I forgot about the part where mine take a huge amount of power. So we have no power now. For just a moment, everything falls apart. That's okay, though. Everything falls apart, meaning there's a chance to get back together again. And none of this requires basic ore to make. It's all just ingots. 
think. So more power very quickly. Now with the new folks, I'm not sure I can maintain my current food consumption. So we may need to add another cookhouse or possibly um, additional hunting. We'll see in a bit. All right, I'd like you to get iron, two chiefs, and a whole bunch of workers. Now with the workers we have, we can go around and make sure all job threat maximum working capacity. We gather more herbs, they don't need that currently. We're just over consuming herbal tea, so we will also need to have another uh, herbal tea maker here, I believe. And our tools are staying roughly stable, but again, they're going to drop as time goes by. The way to avoid that would be to lower the amount of tools people get. Uh, lots of work needed. So, as I said, one thing to do is to add another one of these cookeries. The production building. I'll see that research is not happening. What do we just research? Right, we want to research stable roots. That requires some more paper, though. So we could add in another paper producer. We may, we may. A guest visits us. Hi, Chief, I'm Carla. Excuse my haste, I've come a long way and you're the only people I've come across. I need your help. I'm a member of a village of 20 people and our water wells run dry. We couldn't find a permanent solution in our vicinity. With our situation worsening day by day, fellow villagers like me have gone to seek help. We invite her to take a rest. We have no choice but to leave our home. We have neither the strength nor the resources to build a settlement from scratch. If you'd have us, we'd like to join you. Though I hate to ask for more, it'd be a long and arduous journey. My people, already battered, will need supplies and resources to complete the journey. Can you help? Of course we can. We'll give you what you need. Water, food, tools, and then 20 more people will join us after a year or so. And that's going to get us to the point where we need to build additional houses, I believe. So the tavern here is casting its happy glow across at least one more street there and this corner area as well. So let's go ahead and put more shacks in. The shacks do cost 10 energy each. And there's a spot here to not build on. You may have seen. Yeah, there's a spot there. It's ore. So we'll leave that ore available for the future. I build a road around the side then to connect these things together. Cool. And that is within the yeah, that is within the range there. All right, no one need to have another uh, herb into herbal tea building as well. Good. Get more cooking going. I have a ton of mushrooms right now, so let's cook with mushrooms. This one's not on the road, so I add a further road around it. Good. Okay. Got a lot of workers. Into the pit you go. I believe that every job is now fully tasked, except for one we're building right now. Well, that's not true, actually. Even more clothes get made. Okay. Second mine is working also. So we have 55 iron ore coming in. We're consuming roughly the same. Got a lot of copper coming in. We need to start making copper um, ingots as well. For sure. And then let's see what else we need to respond to our building up of the work stations. There's something in this game that makes it stand out from Banished. So to Magic GM, the honest answer, I'll give the answer every time is I've never played Banished. <laughs> I've played a lot of games that are like Banished, but I know nothing about the actual game Banished. Um, the storyline feels somewhat different than other games like this I've played, but you'll have to ask someone who's played Banished how the game distinguishes. Um, like, there is a storyline about, you know, the end of the world and solar flares and such and hiding beneath the ground. Um, but a lot of people who come in and say this game is just a banished clone, and I, I don't tend to respond to people's work that way. I tend to assume that people have worked hard to make it their own in whatever ways. Uh, but the game, to a lot of people, reminds of banished at least. All right, 15 to 20 days until Carla and her people arrive. 
giving us more workers. Hopefully I have a place to put them to work at that point. Well, surely, surely, surely I'm going to need additional, um, additional herbs and veggies. Am I cooking? With, I'm not even cooking with veggies, am I? One second. One second. <laughs> am I actually not cooking with veggies at all? Yeah, so we have 2,000 veggies saved up. We've not cooked with them even a single time. So we do have an emergency food source. That's that's pretty nice, I'm going to say. I'm going to say I like that quite a bit, actually. All right, so really strong fertility here, it looks like. We'll have proper farms eventually. So for right now, I'm okay with just building this area. It's not super uh, full of fertility, but it's okay. Yeah, I've joked many a time whether I should bother trying to uh, learn Banished or just keep saying I don't play it, I don't play it, and see if people respond to that. The winter's here again. Year four winter is here, and so we're not allowed to do any farming. Stop are getting full again as well, so add more of those in. Their utility buildings, the stockpile. At some point we can upgrade these stockpiles. Also, also, we have the paper we need now. We made the maintenance building. It apparently keeps the other buildings in working shape. If you never build it, they'll all just break down a spec. I actually don't know if that's true. It might be the case that you can just never build the maintenance building and have a nice happy world of this level of quality, and that's all you get. Yeah, I don't know if the various storyline missions of this game are um, on rails, like it'll happen on day 150, or if it's based on what cycle you're in, or based on how many people you have. That kind of temporization of the game I'm not exactly sure on. So... Here we go. Another herb, herb maker. Here, another veggie maker. Cool. The Order of Daily Life Restructuring. Our settlement has begun to resemble a village. We're not a group of wanderers looking to scrape by anymore. It feels as though our new way of living means working constantly. We can't hope to endure a life like this for too long. We need to think about adjusting our shifts to allow us a day of rest. Uh, one day off per nine days of work. Everyone works a little less hard, we get more knowledge and also more morale, or our life is too fragile, let's keep working. You may take one day off every nine days of labor, which means their workforce is going to be lower, which means everything produces a little bit less. Those regular breaks. What happens if you're a nice person? If you're a nice person in this game, you end up with your workers not working and the whole place falls apart, but that's a problem for future resorty. Currently, good guy resort, he's busy being a good guy. Uh, so we want to put in, whoops, more medicine making. We'd also like to get a new forge up to attend to copper making. And the copper will be used for making wires to make electric forges instead. Bit by bit, it's all leveling up. You said student behavior. <laughs> I know I should do it now, but I'm gonna do it later. Hopefully Professor Resorty doesn't notice. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, you're not wrong. You're, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. It's the kind of behavior I do not encourage in my students, but I don't. I tell them, you know, do what I, I say, not what I do. Hypocrisy is a, uh, a a mortal sin, not a logical fallacy. All right, and then there was copper production. Uh, so the maintenance building is going to consume all of my resources to keep other buildings going. And it's something I've struggled with so much on prior playthroughs, because it's just hard for me to know how much from moment to moment the construction building requires. The tier two, correct? Yes, the maintenance building. Requires glass to build, our first necessary glass. But then also takes 300 more energy. Fine. Rising upkeep demands. Chief, we've come a long way as a community. Our need for different infrastructures for diversified needs and production changes is increasing rapidly. Our settlement needs permanent solutions that will support advanced construction methods. In addition, these require regular maintenance. 
build a maintenance building and assign a workforce to manage a priority of construction activities throughout the city. Track the resource to be spent on maintenance activities and determine the level of upkeep. I'd like to do this. But you must understand I don't have any glass yet, <laughs> so <laughs> I will do that as soon as I have glass, I swear. Uh, maintenance building done. How about some glass? Glass requires 430. That's what we have. Sorry, it requires uh, another uh, 470, 80, 90. About 500 more or so. Paper. I have a still a pretty stable amount of wood. We could attempt to uh, create additional paper. This paper is needed more and more and more to do all the technology increases. Uh, perhaps, 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 perhaps. Let's we'll see. Okay, copper mining is happening. Good. Where, where am I? There are my lumber areas. So I'm making another one of you. Oh, it's not fit. <gasps> so someone joked earlier that my houses were off by one. They're actually being serious, <laughs> so I can't fit a lumber mill there because someone ruined everything. Oh, no, that's fine. We'll just put it over here in shame. Oh, shameful, shameful faraway building. We can get more paper going that way. That'd be good. Okay, so... Hit at 514. We get hanged to 920, so it's going slowly. This one's going up now. Good. All right. More paper, more good. We may need to set up additional um, wood choppers, lumberjacks, perhaps, to get additional wood. Make sure that all of the current wood gatherers have wood nearby still. They do. They do. Year four is done. Here in year four, four people died of disaster. That was a fire in the kitchen. Eight people joined us. Forty births took place. We have more food. We have more water. We have resources. Everything is glorious. Happy spring, everybody. Happy spring once more. The world is bright and beautiful. Or at least as much as it can be for a community like ours. Uh, mushrooms are going down, down, down because no one is currently growing mushrooms or picking mushrooms. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We can actually have our mushroom cooks become instead when this one finishes, become instead vegetable cooks and then save the mushrooms as a emergency food source. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta find tin still for our bronze making. Uh, bronze making also requires um, electric forges, I think. So that's what we're waiting for the 920 paper. Oh, we can go look for other uh, resources beneath the ground and hopefully find the, the tin we need. Where is it? Resources, there we go. All right, so there's mining possibly out here in the middle of our city. <laughs> that's one thing. i go this way instead. There are two more there. Sure, let's see what the two more here have. Unfortunately, it costs stone to look at that. The so stone is coming in, not being consumed hardly at all. It's a matter of waiting for it to show up. Two more ticks should do it. There we go. There's another one. Check if this one does not show up as tin. Probably worth inspecting all of them while I'm thinking about it. So in the future, we know where the items are we need or want. Iron! Useless! Sorry, I shouldn't say useless. Iron's very valuable. It's the backbone of our entire society. Power outage. Right. Once again with the power. I think this happened last time, where I found myself running out of power, and so made more and more of these little windmills. And then by the time we could upgrade them to the bigger windmills, we 
um, could had already unlocked coal power, and there's no particular environmental consequences for turning everything into coal power. Uh, there's no complaint about smog or people's lungs or the blackness of their face as they get covered in dust. Just no complaints at all. Okay, also, I see that we have enough paper now to research something. The sand for glass. Nice. So this is on, but that it's not doing anything. So turn it off for now. We know there's iron nearby. Will there be tin? Oh, tin was locked. We actually can't mine tin yet. So I wonder if that means that uh, tin won't even show up, or if it just means I can't dig it. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. One more tick. What, one, one more tick. What? There we go. I'm gonna go with this is not tin. And I'll be very sad at myself for building this thing. It's iron ore. Okay. This will stay dead for right now. We'll turn on eventually. Uh, we got four days until Carlo arrives with another group of people. Um, if they can help me with technology, we'd be very pleased. Uh, we now have divided layers. So we can begin to make better houses and sanding glass. We need another pit, of course. And here is the way to learn about tin. Tin making that requires to have wire. So switches and circuits, entry-level electrical circuits and management systems, indispensable infrastructure for complex construction. The power grid gets developed. Okay, so we can now work on making a pit of sand. Now, we have quite a bit of clay saved up and not that much stone. So probably need another pit as opposed to re- uh, deploying one of these or reassigning those to a different kind of material on the ground. So, another pit here. We have to wait for stone now. So, where is the stone actually going? I believe we can see overviews. Is that right? We can see that's being consumed, but not how it's being consumed. Is it stored items? Here we go. Is this right? It's a stone. Input output. So the consumption is spiking up. What that means almost certainly is that I'm doing it. There is four basic consumption all the time, and the giant spikes are my issue. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, my apologies. A gray area. Chief, it might sound sinister at first, but hear us out. We were here first. We did the hard work. And these immigrants, they're coming and taking our jobs. What can be done? There are people among us who underwent crap and training more than five times. It's not fair for someone to show up at the door and get all the superseding of the hardworking fellows. Nativism, nativism, nativism. We have a hierarchy of contribution. Those who have been living in a settlement for a longer period of time have preferential rights. No. Can't put down our fellows. I have set the current people to make it a welcoming place for everyone else to join into. We're again capped on water, unfortunately. So increase water saving. To 5,000 more. Carl arrives in one day. Nine children grew up also. So, those ones go straight into the pit. Once they have the stone. And unfortunately, the stone pit is totally full of people. So I could make a second stone pit, of course. And then we did also research um, switches and wires. So I'm going to start making wires to go with the tools. Uh, we have two tool producers currently. Both right here. They're producing... Um, just over our consumption. So want to have another new tool creator instead. Smith. Smith number two. 
and that'll be for the wires instead. So our copper ore into ingots be consumed there. It's getting kind of logistic -y in here. Uh, one more tick and start building. All right. Storm blows. For two days, everyone works less efficiently, but the windmills get more power. What a good fair trade that one is. Okay. Just need someone to show up and start hammering. A lot of free workers. Get to it. Lightning strike! Unfortunate catastrophe brings nothing but fear and destruction. So I didn't see the lightning strike. It usually destroys a building outrightly, though. Um, if a building was actually destroyed, there it is. A building has been struck by lightning. It's one of our many, many, many windmills. One worker died in the building collapse. What was a worker doing screwing around with the windmills? That's not right. That's absolutely not right. These are off out of the way for exactly that reason. Ugh, the wages of industry. We should return to being primitive hunter-gatherers. Return to monkey at once. Clearly. Lacey Wood died due to catastrophe. Oh, poor sweet Lacey Wood. You would, Lacey, wouldn't you? Okay, so now we can get some wires being made. What's our current copper income each day? Mm, copper ingots, we have 55 of them. This consumes one per day, apparently. Or one per cycle. Not sure exactly how that works. We have wires now, thank goodness. And then the new pit for sand. Google. A crowd of strangers is approaching. It seems that Carla and her people have survived the journey. At least some of them. A total of 11 workers, 2 craftsmen, and 5 children have joined us. A sudden, sharp, but welcome increase in our population. Into the pit you go! Bring me sand! A new milestone! As we continue to grow, the volume and variety of our needs will likewise expand. There can be no further progress without more potent energy sources to support the growing need for production and the flow of daily life. Coal is the most valuable and readily available resource for this. Just as it was centuries ago, when our ancestors revolutionized our civilization, let's pool our efforts and activate our first coal generator. Welcome everyone to the Industrial Revolution. Ah, we've reached a cycle called acceleration. The coal generator is now possible. Got other things to do first though. For example, we need to start making glass so we can get better houses. Production, I believe. Glass is made where? Is it tier two building? The smelter. All right, so this is upgrading our basic forges into smelter, taking 450 electricity. We can do one of those currently. And then, and then, and then. Enforce durability, we can get 125 wire saved up. We then get the better wind turbines and a little bit of tin also. That'll be nice. Between now and then though, we can get guard houses to give people a sense of security and achievement. So for right now, I've got a pile of workers doing nothing. I can go and throw them into bring me additional copper, I guess. We'll probably steal workers from there once we have the ability to make our a forge for additional glass. I want to change out the herbal tea pile here into wires instead, so we can keep an eye on that. 14. <laughs> We're just making six per day is all. Uh, it does not seem like a lot, though, so uh, having another smith on that could be useful. Um, though with what workers, as always. We do a ton of ingots saved up. We're consuming them right now for both making um, growth construction as well as just making more and more tools, which we're still having probably too many of. I can make people a little bit less happy by giving them fewer tools, but I'll leave it as is for now. One second, what was that? 
entertainment when we have 90% instead of 100. Does someone not live inside the range of the... Oh, video game. One house is not in range of the tavern. Two houses are not in range of the tavern. <laughs> uh, I thought this corner here counted as being in, but no. All right, this neighborhood is just about finished then. So we'll move these people up this way. And there are like currently um, empty houses. Just move the empty houses that are, have the things you want. Uh, this one gets destroyed. We can then attach a road in. Good. And then this one also destroyed. So they should shuffle around then and find their way to the uh, correct building. Merchant is here again. Hello, merchants. Bronze ingots. I can't make those myself yet. Um... I might buy those, at least some of them. Let's see. So, to make bronze, how far on is bronze? Or did I already get bronze? Is, yeah, bronze is here. I just can't make it till I have the tin also. But, that's used for upgrading the wind turbines. I don't recall how many are needed though. I'm gonna buy some though. Please and thank you. It might be 15 or 20 each. I'll go buy 50 of them. I'll buy 60 in case it actually is 15 each. And then I'll give him meat as we have quite a bit of it not using it. So shift left, left mouth button to 25 at a time. There we go. More meat makes it even. Done. 240 meat sold. All those poor deer made to bronze. The story of civilization. As I said earlier, the next time we play this game, I absolutely have to continue old save file. It was so silly of me to start at the beginning again. We've gotten roughly to where we were our first time playing. Uh, we got a little farther, but... There's so much more in a game I want to experience, the new stuff, but I'm afraid we're not going to get that far today. It's just not time for it. Oh, I can send another envoy out, can't I? Send the envoys. And send the envoy, you have to have 12 spare clothes, and we don't. Probably means we have to have another... Oh! We have insufficient leather. Huh. We have so many raw, so much rawhide, rather. It's producing eight per day. This is trying to consume way more than that. So no, I just need to have another work haul for leather making. I had no idea it was so inefficient or so mm, bad ratio between the efficiencies, rather. That's right, bad ratio. I don't know how to use words. Okay, let me tear back this road a little bit. I didn't realize that it had such a poor ratio. That's what I wanted to say. That's how words work. Okay. And that's no longer touching a road. Let's fix that. And we need more workers. And we need more workers. The constant cry of more workers, more workers. All right. Should be the case that all the workers now have entertainment. They do. Everyone's happy enough again. Fantastic. We're consuming more iron ingot than we're creating each day. Again, it's just due to construction. We need to move some workers off of some other job. So I believe we have quite a bit of... Quite a bit of the herbal tea in. They're totally full on herbal tea, actually. So with that said, I'm actually moving this whole thing over to making additional leather now. Workhorse has a one negative pip because of work breaks. Cursed, cursed work breaks. Also, more travelers are coming, so they'll be joining us fairly soon, I suspect. 
and they'll have this building with very few workers uh, work on making more herbal medicine, herbal tea, herbal something, Advil, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. Remember the part where I built this thing and said, okay, fine, let's get some more copper? <laughs> Two things. <laughs> One, it's iron and iron. Two, there's nothing here for you to do. Why are you full of work? That's where all my workers went. I'm feeling strangely out of workers. Explain so much. All right, we now know how to make the guardhouse. And the guardhouse will keep an eye on our people and give them a greater feeling of security. Is it tier two building? It is. All right, so we can't cover the whole thing with just one guardhouse, but with three or so, I believe we can hit everyone. Yeah. A new frontier. We should take care to preserve our momentum. Our revolutionary progress in energy production has paved the way to come up with products we've theorized, but never attempted to produce before. We've had our sights on miraculous medicines to drinks with thousands of flavors. We can enrich our lives by realizing these dearly missed commodities. We need to have developed earned rights and pressurized systems, drinks and medicines, distribution to the taverns, and observe the benefits of distribution to the majority of the population. They want cheeses, they want fancy peppers, they want a bucket. This is the end of the world. They're wanting more and more choices. Why can't you just be happy with the things you have? Why is that not good enough? Constantly wanting more, more, more. So I've just spent all of our wires on those guard houses. Those are important, but get more wires made. Okay, I think I talked about that earlier. We need to build another forge to do it probably. So that is this area. That's not a forge, it's another smith. Yeah. Not really the copper production for this, but that's okay. Travelers, 10 more people want to join me. Welcome, everybody. You'll be in charge of making the wires presently. And we have also gotten sand, haven't we? We have a sand pick going, so now we can begin to make glass. Though again, glass requires us to upgrade one of the forges, I believe, to glass making. Sure. Takes 14 wires. All right. When that wires get to 14, we have to make more and more. Upgrades all the way. Three, six. Oh, how the numbers climb. Unbefore seen heights. Wait, no, glass is just. Wait, wait, wait. What did I do? <laughs> One second. <laughs> what did I make there? I made a kiln. Oh, it's the wrong kind of building. So, kiln is where glass is made. Not the upgraded forge. Oh, okay. Well, I, I made the building I need is in the wrong place. That is a little silly. I meant to put it over here by the pits. So the brick making thing is what also makes the glass windows. Got it. Where's my brick maker, I wonder? I have no idea. I think I just live here by the pits. Live by the pit, die by the pit. So I've been holding off for making glass for a very long time because I thought I couldn't make it yet, but nope, we're good. That said, we can go ahead and upgrade our basic forges then. At least the one. Good. I'll probably end up upgrading all of them. So they take um, the three workers and say they only need two of the craftsmen instead. So it's a specialization and a reduction in workforce needed overall as well. Back in a moment. Back over here. Bring me glass. All right, so with glass, we can then begin to make um, our upgraded construction building and also upgrade all of the houses, I think. Okay, we just need another 200 paper 
or another 85 wire. Now, did I put in another... I thought about putting in another lumber mill. We put it way over here in Shameville. Right, I remember this now. Where is the lumber mill of shame? There it is, making more paper. We have more workers. Even faster on that. And then we do want to have another wire producing building. We want to build another smith, not another kiln. Good. We'll probably need to get some more uh, crafts on eventually. Only have the uh, four loose ones right now. That's enough. Ah, the level two forge finally. Three ingots at once. However, once again, we can all the power. <laughs> This is why we want to go to coal generation, because it gives so much more power than these wimpy little windmills. Wimpy, but clean. The trade-offs, so awkward. Only we'd have strong, clean energy. The world would be perfect. Yep. It's a, a nice chilling breeze for our graveyard also. Hopefully they enjoy that. It's the second wire location. How are we looking right now on copper ingots? Uh, not great. I mean, 37 is still positive, <laughs> but it could be much better. It's a harsh winter. So worse than usual. I don't know what harsh winter exactly means, but Lewis Lee announces it's harsh out there. I think we'll our mouths pop up at some point and show us. Uh, additional wire, great. Okay, we currently have Homelessness? All right, not quite homelessness. We have 223 people and 57 children. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. We should have three homeless people then, but we need to uh, obviously create more houses. Probably right there, one could fit in. And then start in a whole other neighborhood somewhere soon. But I think upgrading to larger or higher tier buildings would do the same kind of work. Just a matter of finding them or better buildings. Earned rights, is that it? That's infirmary. Hmm. Do we already unlock next tier residences? We did. We just need glass for it. It all comes down to just do we have the glass to do anything? And it can hold 12 people instead of 10. So upgrading the buildings will help quite a bit. That'll be the next big step for us. Okay, we're currently producing how much sand? 35 per day. We're consuming 8 per cycle. And we're making 10 per day on 2.8 per round. So I think we're consuming three by eight sand per day. So we're producing a little bit more sand than we're consuming. Someone has died of illness. Do I not give you enough drinks? Uh, you have maximum drinks right now. Yeah, it's just the, the harsh winter. All outdoor work has been halted. Mine workforce reduced dramatically. Increased chance of getting sick. Um, so what that means is I can give them bonus food and that gives a slight bonus to health. I should have done that as soon as I saw a harsh winter. Totally forgot was a thing, though. But everyone gets the bonus health. I don't have enough food and water to maintain this for a very long time. We managed to put all necessities together faster than we expected. That's not true. <laughs> now that all matures are ready, we can start putting together the tools we need, the workspace we have to do some science and learn about what the sun is doing as it flashes brightly and causes such troubles for us. What happens? The next 20 days, they're figuring out how science works. This slows our production even more. As all work plans, task allocations, and workbench collaborations are being carried out for the observation mission. So for 25 days, we put out less knowledge. Productivity of metalworks, kilns, and forges drops as well. Excellent. Good thing we have a nice 
stockpile of everything. We're in really strong shape on that, but uh, very poor efficiency, very poor workforce. Things are barely getting done anymore. This many people, though. What do I see? What do I see? I see the possibility of another pit. All right, so even more sand production will lead to even more window creation. We have windows 31 right now. I believe that's enough to upgrade at least one building. So it is. So for a brief moment of homelessness, you're for a low, low cost of living outside for a night or two. You get some new fancy houses, very first brick houses. Next pit will be done in a moment here. We'll see how they like life under the ground. The society of mole people begins. Hey, winter's over. Spring's here again. We didn't all fall apart. I believe that one person died of illness, though. <laughs> the harsh winter. It's a, it's a new outdoor experience. Have a good time. Check it out. All right, so we finally are consuming more water than we have saved up. Uh, that's because I ended up saying uh, that you should have double water to avoid ill health. So a normal water consumption, we're fine. Six people died, five diseases, I guess. Only one person died in a uh, in a destruction or destructive activity. So diseases equal death. What a heartbreak! A heartbreak. But look, new houses. Look, new houses. What was I going to do then? Right, then lower to normal food and water distribution. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, <sighs> okay. Lights are coming on. Got lots of power still. Do I have what I need to research anything now? Crops, yes. Tin, yes. Cap. Better wind turbines, more power, gonna be amazing. And we can hope to find our tin also. Alright, suddenly everything's going down in a big, big, big way. We've gone from... Why are we using so little water now? We were totally full on water for a while. I did lower everyone back to normal consumption, yeah? I think it takes a day to get back to normal consumption, unfortunately. We'll see if that's true. We have to get a bunch of better wells going. I think we're currently learning how to make the improved wells. I'm just surprised it swung so hard just like that. Let's see here. Ah, oh, the water pump. So we can upgrade the water pump if we get 26 bronze ingots. That is the next real goal here is get to bronze ingots to making to make better wind turbines, make better water consum consumption machines, to make more everything, everything, everything. That said, friends, our ad break is upon us. An ad break is here right now. And so uh, I'm just going to talk through it. I probably going to play for another five or so minutes. Let the ad break run. It'll be three minutes of, of ads. I appreciate watching them and hanging out if you do. And uh, we'll do a little bit more stream on the other side of it, but not too much more. I got to teach pretty soon. Hey, Twiz Amber, good seeing you. How's it going, my friend? Hope we're having a good day today. Yeah, if we had uh, additional ad breaks today, I'd definitely pull up the backpack battles or some more crosswording. For now, those let's run, so don't be surprised when it comes, but an ad break is coming. The field camp here is nearly out of wood, but it's still chopping, chopping, chopping something nearby. OMG backpack balediction, you better believe it. <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to deceive you. I'm not going to come on stream and say I haven't been playing it every single waking moment. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> FYI, it's good, clean fun. <laughs> uh, we will need more copper, so I'm going to upgrade you also to improve copper production at the cost of electricity. I think we'll still be fine. I also need to build the maintenance building, which is our 300 electricity. Uh, we can't quite handle that, so back out to... Casa to spin, spin, spin. That area is very high. 
on production. Can't build there, though. Yeah, we're reaching the edge of the coast, unfortunately, and that part you can't make anymore. I look forward to going through and upgrading absolutely all of these. Okay. So did I build my new pit? Yeah, I already built a new pit. I already have a whole bunch more workers for something. Now, I guess we can turn on this mine then. We will need at least one more craftsman. So I'm going to need um, at least three more craftsmen. I'll go ahead and get four more trained up. Alright, so we're producing more water again. We were at 600 for a while. I don't know if the winter made us we produced less for a while, but... Oh, you know what it is? We're producing less water because of workforce changes and efficiency changes. Even though workers don't actually work at the water production area. But that's surely what it is. Is it? Uh, never mind. Nope. Actually, not sure why we're producing less water than before. Is going down in a hurry, but we have a large enough uh, cushion to be fine. Ah, uh, upgrade the wind turbine. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Front some more copper, please. A bad wind blows. More efficiency. Thank you, weather. Okay, can we research the last bit here, namely the farms? We can. And now we hope we can find tin. So, these are both iron. I think someone may have mentioned before that if you look at all of the ore locations on the map, before you research tin, then you don't get any tin. And looking kind of plausible right now is it's all just showing copper and iron. <laughs> now, I believe there are other spots to check out. Like maybe one of these, maybe one of these right here are what I need. So we'll check those next. New York Times Monday mini cross puzzle up. If I were to do the New York Times puzzle without noms, I think she'd shoot me. <laughs> We've done it together every single day for... I don't know, like 1,300 days or something. It's been a lot of days in a row doing it together. And, uh, oh, just the mini. Just the mini. I guess it's a step in the direction of doing it without her. Uh, I don't have the, the New York Times um, crossword app installed on this computer. And I think it used my real name, so... You all can figure out the mini. You'll have a good time with it. But no, I, I don't go near the New York Times without my wife. Even thinking the thought. We're right across town right now, she's... There's a disturbance in the force somewhere. She knows what it is. Training complete. Everyone's trained up good stuff. And so those folks take over the east. Making of copper there. And then we're not going to turn this mine on quite yet. And still run the one over here. Tin! We found tin! Thank goodness. Uh, bring me tin, please, and thanks. Awesome. Uh, this one I'm curious about also, but I gotta wait for stone on it. Eventually. What we next need is... to research... Uh, or to build the maintenance building. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. What kind of building is maintenance? It's not other. Is it tier two? There we go. Tier two requires iron ingots. Get there eventually. So maintenance building can be absolutely anywhere. It just works throughout the city. So I'll send it in the middle there. The smoke thickens. The disaster in the, dick, uh, in the in the distance. The air is burning our throats. The sky is reddening. What are we gonna do? Uh, we must remain calm. Calm is what I propose this day. No need for fear, only need for calm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the maintenance building is going to need uh, additional workers and then some more craftsmen. So again, with the more craftsmen creation. I'm sure we'll use them all eventually. Good. That's right, the brown is now slightly reddish. As the sparks begin to fly. <laughs> From underneath her welding helmet... 
Someone observes, We observed a large fire in the distance, Chief. We're unfortunately familiar with the situation. Though severely diminished, our species is still the main cause of fire. Smokey Bear's unhappy with you. We can't say when or if it'll be extinguished, if it'll spread to us, or if we can even intervene. However, it's certain we'll be exposed to dense smoke and all the hazards it carries. We can take some precautions, or we can accept whatever fate brings us. The decision is yours! We're going to stay indoors. We're going to stay safe. We cannot have random wildfires burning us all. I know you all want your quote-unquote freedom, but it's not freedom to get burned alive, thank you. So, six days of being kept inside protectively. That's right. We're paternalistic now. It's for your own good. Don't you understand? Uh, we've begun to go through all the ingots very quickly. So, I think I want to upgrade my other basic forge. Because it goes from two ingots per day to two ingots per day. <laughs> it's the exact same amount. Now, the issue, of course, is you know, all, all of these problems here. Lower workforce, uh, primarily due to protective restrictions. So everything is very low right now because of the fire and our response to it. Certainly change anything. I would like to upgrade this, though. To upgrade it requires ingots I don't have, though. So we'll hold off on that for a little bit. The people have a request. Every day we cross a new threshold and be able to live like human beings. Chief, part of being a human being is having paper, a diary, some scribbling, some notes. Don't make any paper airplanes, but you may have the paper. Help us gain more knowledge into the future. Notes and doodles, they call it. Great. And, and, and. Completed all of moving forward. We're now into acceleration. We have better quality food. We have advanced metalworking. Or we have the coal generator. Of these, I can do none of them currently. Well, one of these days. Uh, two people failed in their attempt to pass technical boot camp. Maybe next time, team. Maybe next time. For now, just waiting until it gets very, very slowly. Yeah, events that cause your workforce uh, to decrease are aptly heartbreaking. These have to slowly grind through making anything. There's probably some way in which you can, you know, stop consuming iron by slowing down the number of tools you're making, but we need those tools. We need all of it. It's all precious to me. Uh, maintenance building, go, go. Please. <laughs> the workers there just start hammering. You can do it, man. I'm ready for you to show us what you got. Someone else has to show up and do the hammering instead person dressed like a Jedi continues just looking and being unsure about themselves. Uh, there we have it. Also, we have no clothes. Also, there's no maintenance workers. Oh, I got the maintenance workers at least. So they'll keep an eye on what's going on. We have no clothes at all. So the um, Slow down to tailoring means we had no available clothes. We can help that by building another one of you to ensure more clothes in the future. That said, unfortunately, it's about 1.15 my time, so I got to bounce because I got to teach in a little over an hour. So thank you for being here. I hope you had a nice day. It was fun to play some new cycle for you. Uh, hopefully some people who hadn't seen the game before got an opportunity to do so. I know a few of you bought it in response to the uh, sponsored stream. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Tomorrow we'll be back with some I don't know what, honestly unsure what we're playing. I promise it will not be Backpack Battles. Past that, I have no idea though. Whatever way, appreciate you. I'm going to go get a sandwich. You have a good day too. Goodbye, goodbye.